Good morning and welcome to Rob Bird's Moondog Show on Super Hits 103.7 Cozy FM. I'm your host, Rob Bird. We are truly honored to bring to you the people and places of Southwest Michigan and beyond. Welcome to episode 178. We have so much to tell you, so let's get to it. On this show, the Blueberry Chicks with the Blueberry Buzz by the Blueberry Store will bring in Adam Lalone, owner of Blue Harvest Farms, and he's also the brand creator of Patriot Foods. We will also be talking to Max Masters from Masters Chiropractic and Rehabilitation about all kinds of things that's going on at his place. We'll also be talking to Brooke Blanchard from YDC Pal about their tie-dye event a little later today and all the rest of their fundraising that they've got going on this year. We'll also be talking to Bray Plum, who is the intern at Masters Chiropractic and Rehabilitation, about that weight loss program. Scott Thaler will be our guest in the studio sitting in for Mason Dixon, and he's got a lot of things to talk about, too. And on Let's Talk Real Estate with Tina Goodrich, we're going to be talking about short-term rentals, and she's going to be bringing in her husband, Mark Goodrich, otherwise known as Goody, to talk about his involvement with short-term rentals and fix-it jobs. It's all here right now and so much more on Rob Bird's Moondog Show. If you're looking for some fresh new music, check out the music of the Truss and Bird Band. Find all their music wherever you do your streaming. You can also find them on iTunes if you would like to purchase it for your collection. Truss and Bird Band's music is a gritty mix of rock, blues, pop, and a little bit of reggae and country in the mix. Check out TrustandBirdBand.com to see all their music videos and find out more about this amazing group of musicians. That's TrustandBirdBand.com. T-R-U-S-I-N-B-Y-R-D Band.com. Hi, I'm Holly Lawson from Drawing Children Into Reading, also known as DCIR. We're an early childhood fine motor building resource that will enhance your child's visual ability to express and communicate in pictures and words. In the classroom, we start with proper pencil grip, develop a longer attention span, and kickstart a whole new world when your child learns to draw, write, and read in that order. To unleash the happiness and find out more about this groundbreaking program, visit DCIR.org. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. Are you planning a painting project and don't know who to call? Decorator's Choice Painting Company is one of the most highly referred services along the lakeshore. Serving this area for over 20 years, we look forward to providing professional services for you. Call us today at 269-270-5785 or email us at decoratorschoicesh at gmail.com. Take a look at our work at decoratorschoicesh.com. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. You're listening to Rob Bird's Moondog Show on WCSY-FM, South Haven. It's the Blueberry Chicks by the Blueberry Store. We're back on Rob Bird's Moondog Show, the Blueberry Chicks time. And it's the Blueberry Buzz by the Blueberry Store. And, of course, we're not all chicks today. Shelly Hartman, good morning. Good morning. And Rex Schultz, good morning to you. Good morning. The uh, not Blueberry Chick, but uh, Blueberry (laughs) Man. Yes. Yes. And on the phone, we have Adam Malone, and we're going to get back to him in just a second. But I wanted to take a quick uh, moment of silence on this Saturday morning for uh, the family, the teachers, and uh, the children, all that are affected, and the whole country that's been affected by the uh, the school shooting down in uh, Texas. So here we go. Thank you. All right. Well, back at it here. Adam Lalone, you're the owner of uh, Blue Harvest uh, Farms, West Olive, Michigan, and uh, you're the brand creator of Patriot Foods. And uh, from talking to Shelly and Rex, you've been in this business for a long time and doing a whole lot of stuff. Uh, What got you into it? Yeah, uh, thanks. Thanks again. Uh, You're welcome. Thank you so much. So the family's been in the blueberry business since 61. And, you know, times were good. Blueberries were... uh, we're less popular in the world, if you, so to speak. Right. <laughs> so 1961 is when uh, my uncle Bob Brady started, and uh, the family put their homes up, and everybody chipped in, and uh, he took off clearing land and planting blueberries, and that's that's how the family started. How, how uh, much? Uh, how much did they start with when they cleared the land? They started with 40 acres Ooh, off okay. Winning Street in West Olive, Michigan. All right. Yeah. What yeah. variety? What variety was it, Adam? It, yeah, Jersey. Jersey yeah. and a little bit of blue crop, but Jersey was the the main choice for fresh back then. That's right. Uh, they had a little bit of ruble, but the Jersey was the, was the Cadillac. That brought the money and that paid the bills. Yep. Those were the good old days. <laughs> Did you have a question, uh, Shelly? 
No, no, I just... You have no questions? Well, I mean, I've always got a lot of questions, <laughs> but, you know, Adam does such a good job, so... Well, okay, so, well, you know, you've been in it for certainly a long time, and uh, you've seen a lot of changes, and, you know, you know the, uh, what you say it wasn't as good back then, um, but, uh, you know, those were the... And in those days, you really were kind of talking mostly just a couple of different varieties. And now, uh, 2022, there's, I mean, it, you can't even count the varieties. And uh, the whole blueberry business has taken such a huge turn. What's been the big difference for, uh, to get to now from 1961? Yeah, I tell you, it really changed in the early 90s, mid-90s. So to put this in perspective, I want to say one thing. When I was a young, young boy, I remember the packing house nailing the crates shut by hand. Mm -hmm. I remember watching my grandmother doing that with my aunt before we even had cardboard crates. And that that's just something I wanted to mention. That's kind of fun to remember that. So a lot of things have changed. Uh, the blueberries uh, mainly came from West Michigan, Southern Michigan. And uh, Maine, uh, a lot of wild, New Jersey, some good varieties came out of New Jersey. The Ruble, High Bush Wild came out of New Jersey. Uh, but the big thing started to change when uh, uh, overseas South America started to, uh, started to play in the blueberry business. Oregon and Washington, there's some plant companies out there that did some trial plantings in South America. Uh, and teamed up with other investors. And, and we kind of move along through the years here, and uh, we're feeling the impact. And our seasons are overlapping, and that is the biggest problem. We are all about uh, the consumer eating fresh blueberries year-round, without a doubt. Right. That That is, I mean, that... That is what we want. I mean, we I want thought those promote. seasons were actually opposite, being that they're in the southern hemisphere. Uh, isn't yeah. summer at a different time there? Yeah. So listen, here here's the thing: they can force. Uh, I, I you call it hibernation. They put the bushes to sleep. Okay, it's called chill hours. So they can force dormancy, chill hours. Uh, they're doing that in Mexico and high tunnel. Uh, they're doing that in Peru. Peru's going to be coming in earlier this year. Okay, They're going to be coming in end of August. Mid-August is what they're threatening, maybe sooner. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that is our market. And that yeah, uh, certainly has a direct competition it, to it, what we're doing here locally. I, I tell you, it's getting bad. Uh, and and it's, it really, really is getting bad. So Michigan has blueberries in the fresh market. Uh, good quality for the fresh market through about October 20th, without a doubt, every year. Uh, so we have Peru coming in earlier and earlier, and it's it's killing our market. Now, the pandemic, what happened here with the pandemic, you have uh, Chilean blueberries, you have blueberries coming over. Now they're three weeks late on the boat. Okay, all them pounds that were going fresh that should have been consumed and off the dance floor, if you will, went into frozen because they did not make quality fresh by the time the ships got to port. Mm. So all that fruit went into our frozen pipeline. <laughs> and that, I tell you, that really hurts us also because it just adds to our frozen inventory. So this thing is building on both ends of the stick. And Mexico is just a, a disaster for Florida and Georgia now. We are seeing that on on, on tremendous, tremendous uh, volume coming in now uh, in Georgia's window. And it's putting the American farmer out of business. And, and I tell you, I, I don't care if you talk about blueberries, tomatoes, peppers. Guys, I don't care. These imports are putting the American farmer out of business. Cheap, cheap food is is putting us out of business. Yeah. Um, well, you know, Adam, what uh, yeah. what do we do to you know combat that? I mean, because obviously there's certainly got to be something that that we can do about that. 
Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, the government's good at one thing all the time, and that's pretty much nothing. <laughs> well, so, yeah, thank you. You know, the best way to do this is learn what is in season, okay? I live in Florida. Let's just have a little fun here. If you live in Florida, what is in season right now? I, I want to support my Florida farmers, right? The, the consumer We're a local show, learn. so nobody, we, we, I'm not sure what, uh, what, what is uh, local or going on in Florida right now. Yeah, so you need to know what is in season in your state as a consumer. That's first. Okay, you need to educate yourself. Then you need to hold the retailers accountable. Okay. Hey, we have Florida blueberries are everywhere. Why am I seeing Mexico berries right. everywhere? Right. Yeah. Social media is a big tool. Now use it, stick up for your, your farmers, but learn what is in season and read your labels, become a label reader. Um, if you want safe produce, if you want produce that was irrigated with good water, Read your label. Mm -hmm. Know where your food is coming from. It's very important. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, hey, Adam, I'm, I'm going to have to cut you yeah. off here because this is a radio show and we have to take a break. Mm -hmm. And you've got so much good stuff. I want you to hold that thought so we can come back and talk a little bit more about how how we change uh, people's attitudes and what they do to look to buy local and in season here. Uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about that with Adam Lalone, owner of Blue Harvest Farms. When we come back, we have Shelly Hartman and Rex Schultz on the uh, blueberry. <laughs> you guys make me, you, you, you know, make me laugh over here. I'm not even saying anything. No, I'm just, <laughs> the I'm blueberry just... chicks of the blueberry buzz by the blueberry store. If you're looking for some fresh new music, check out the music of the Truss and Bird Band. Find all their music wherever you do your streaming. You can also find them on iTunes if you would like to purchase it for your collection. Truss and Bird Band's music is a gritty mix of rock, blues, pop, and a little bit of reggae and country in the mix. Check out TrustandBirdBand.com to see all their music videos and find out more about this amazing group of musicians. That's TrustandBirdBand.com. T-R-U-S-I-N-B-Y-R-D Band.com. It is true. You can get quality social media marketing, radio time, and video production in one place. Moondog Productions specializes in all three. Now is the time to increase your presence and keep yourself in the public eye. Through Rob Bird's Moondog Show, Moondog Productions offers radio advertising, social media marketing, and video production that will get you noticed. Call Moondog Productions at 269-872-3049 to find out how we can design a program that will fit your budget. It's the Blueberry Chicks by the Blueberry Store. We're back on Robert's Moondog Show. The Blueberry Chicks with the Blueberry Buzz by the Blueberry Store. Shelly Hartman and Rex Schultz here. And on the phone we have Adam Lalone, owner of Blue Harvest Farms, which is in uh, West Isle of Michigan. Hey, uh, Adam, uh, we were talking about uh, trying to make people aware when you were kind of hitting on uh, social media to tell our retailers here, our stores in town, to say, hey, why aren't you carrying local and in-season uh, uh, fruits and, well, vegetables? I mean, you can do it really for anything once you right. start paying attention to uh, where things are grown and when they're in season. It kind of applies for all vegetables and fruits, I would assume. Yeah, and, you know, Adam hit on something, read the label because a lot of times the, where the origin of the product is coming from is in, usually in very small print. Mm -hmm. The distributed by is in bigger print, so a lot of times people look at that distributed by and think that's where it came from, but right. you got to look at where the origin of the fruit or vegetables are coming from to, to know that you're getting good, safe food from your, your local yeah, producers. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent, Shelly. I tell you, if it if it's from your country, we're bragging about it, and you can read it, right? If it's imported, you can hardly read it, right? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So okay, so, so once we get people aware of that and they start looking, um, and you said kind of social media, but really kind of take what well, what should they be saying to these uh, places? Yeah, so I tell you what you do, uh, what the consumer needs to do is learn when their state is in season, support their local farmers. If they can't find it on the shelf uh, at their local grocer, uh, buy a roadside stand and leave the imports on the shelf while your, your state is in season. I mean, listen, this produce business is all about movement. 
It's all about movement. Mm -hmm. The retailer does not want stuff going in the dumpster out back in the parking lot, right? Right. So leave the imports on the shelf when your state is in season. That's huge. Yeah, that's right. It it is huge. You know, and one of the other things, too, that, you know, stopping by the roadside markets, going to your farmer's market, getting to know who's producing what in your area, because then you're supporting that grower and that uh, farmer's market, whatever it is, and then go back. You know, keep going back while they're in season so you can keep filling your shelf and your refrigerator, your pantry, your stomach, because we know that good food like blueberries is pure medicine that helps us in um, many, many ways. And science has proven that over and over again. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And and another thing we need to touch on, I think it's very important uh, for this morning, is food security. Yeah, I mean, how important is that? I'll tell you, the way these farmers are going out of business across this country is scary. And dad does not want his two boys to learn it because there's no money in it anymore. That's scary. I tell you, you let a field go to wild. It takes you two years at least minimum to treat that dirt, get that dirt primed and ready for a crop. I don't care if it's a row crop. I don't care what kind of crop it is. You have to get the dirt ready. (laughs) Not only that, you have to have somebody that knows what they're doing. This stuff doesn't just appear, right? Yes, mm-hmm. it's skilled. Hey, Adam, the other day when we were uh, we talked on the phone for a little bit, you kind of we were talking about something that was really uh, curious to me as you're talking about uh, uh, the frozen blueberries being made for pies. You mentioned a business and whether you want to mention the company or not, that's up to you. You know how they have have to kick their production down to half because they can't get all the ingredients which are coming overseas and how that's affected uh, the business, too. Yeah, it's 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 unbelievable. It's it's about as bad as the the labor problem we have in these factories. Uh, so these ingredients that could be as as small as pectin, uh, they come from overseas because they can buy it cheaper, right? Mm-hmm. And but to make that pie, to make that pastry that the blueberries are going in, you need all of them ingredients. Well, they can't get one or two. They're going to shut that line down, okay? Or they're not going to produce as much. And there's many reasons why the shelves in your local grocer are light or empty. It's not just because of logistics, okay? It's because these companies have gone cheap, 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 and they've given work overseas. It's not just cars and and manufacturing it's food my friends it's food it's ingredients you need all the ingredients to make the product and when some of these ingredients are farmed out for overseas production it gets scary quickly you cannot complete the pie or the pastry and now you can't use the blueberries out of michigan right it becomes a big problem and i think too adam one of the things that we also see as growers is you know, uh, what we get paid and what the products get sold for, there's a big gap in between there from what the farm gate, you know, income is to what the retailer uh, is selling the product for. Uh, that doesn't all come back to the grower. In, in fact, a very small percentage of that sale is actually coming back to the grower. Oh, for sure. Do I do I think retailers take advantage of growers in this country? It's unbelievable. Do I think marketers take advantage of the farmers in this country? It's unbelievable. It, it's so close to criminal. It's unbelievable, without a doubt. And there's no hesitation in my in my in my voice at all with that. It, it's just unbelievable the way they take advantage of of the American farmer, and and then they kick you out of the store when when imports come in. They kick you out of the store. You better process that stuff. You know your fresh berries aren't good enough no more. They're not as big as Peru. Well, Peru has no flavor, right? But they want big, they want cheap, 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 and and they're cheap. Yeah. And they're cheap fruit. Let's talk about blueberries. It, it's che- it's cheap, cheap until uh, Adam, it's cheap until you can't get it, and then you're really in a bind and things then things get real expensive. Sorry. Well, yeah, I mean, as these retailers lean on cheap imported food, that's who's gonna be feeding us, my friends. Mm-hmm. That's it's gonna be scary. Mexico. And then that has right. to change. It's going to be Mexico. It's going to be South America. That's who's going to be feeding us. That's I mean, right. That, 
it, it's it's a disaster. I mean, we are putting the American farmer out of business. Well, a couple of shows back, we talked about food safety and how important it is to know what the integrity of your food that you're eating and you're consuming and you're giving your uh, family. And we talked about, you know, all of the things we do here in the United States, uh, all of the federal regulations that we follow, which is really producing a top notch food safety food. Your food is safe here in America. When we get imports coming in from uh, outside of our borders, it's really hard to kind of look back and see what type of food safety programs that they have in place. And, you know, you had mentioned about irrigation and water sources, and these are very important components of uh, safe, ready-to-eat blueberry when we look at the overall picture of, of what is coming again, coming in from other countries. Oh, a hundred percent, Shelly. I, I tell you, it's it's sad that we're even having this conversation. It really is. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I've been looking. I can't find any bottled water from Mexico. I don't understand it. But <laughs> if you look at the percentage of water in their blueberries, it's unbelievable, right? So why can't I buy bottled water at the retailer at the local grocer? That's right. Out of Mexico, right. I don't understand it. I mean, if they have the best. The best water. Yeah. I mean, why isn't it bottled, right, guys? That's Listen, right. we live in Michigan. We have the best water in the world, you know, if you ask me, right? Hey, hey Adam, uh, and I'm going to agree with you right there, but we do have to take a break. Um, and, uh, and, I, and when I come back, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about this exact thing with Adam Lalone, owner of Blue Harvest Farms, West Olive, Michigan, brand creator of Patriot Foods, which I think is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, this is the Blueberry Chicks with the Blueberry Buzz by the Blueberry Store on Rob Bird's Moondog Show. <laughs> And now, a special message from Paul Landecker, Operations Program Director at Midwest Family Broadcasting. First thing that really impressed me about Moondog Productions was the Facebook videos that Rob was putting up, some of the South Haven videos and some of the other things, uh, the award-winning videos that he has and put up so everybody can see them. The quality that is in those videos, the, the time he takes, the expertise that he has in making our little town of South Haven look amazing worldwide. We asked Moondog Productions to do a couple of videos for our Summer Jam and Smooth Jazz concerts this past summer. Totally unexpected that you know, he got those videos back to us within 10 days. I mean, it was quick turnaround. They exceeded my expectations on how they looked. Moondog Productions is no small town operation. I mean, the work they do is major market stuff. It's really, really well done. We didn't have a big budget for this. Rob and Moondog Productions took every cent and made it all work for us uh, very economically. The quality of the product, the ease of working with Moondog Productions, it's simple. I have no doubt that if you have need of quality, big time video at low cost, Rob's your guy. Moondog Productions is where you need to go. Chicks with Blueberry Buzz by the Blueberry Store. Shelly Hartman and Rex Schultz still here in the studio. And Adam Lalone, owner of Blue Harvest Farms, West Olive, Michigan, and brand creator of Patriot Foods, which is what we're going to talk about yes, right now. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, what is Patriot Foods? Yeah, Patriot Foods is a, is a brokerage company, marketing company, uh, supplier. And we wanted to supply uh, our neighbors and our grocery stores and our local community uh, with good good blueberries, right? So we wanted to set ourselves apart. So our team developed Patriot Foods. And what makes us unique as a marketer is we are a U.S. only marketer fighting for the U.S. farmer Yay. with every sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the consumer supports... Patriot Foods, that means when the consumer buys uh, a label uh, at the grocery store, uh, a percentage of that sale goes to a military family in need, and it supports our veteran fishing trips. Very exciting. My son does them. So it's grown a lot. Uh, It's about awareness. The U.S. farmer is, is hemorrhaging 
they're all living off the bank. They're not making any money. They're losing money. They're losing land. Uh, some more auctions again in southern Michigan coming up. I just got the notice in the mailbox. Yeah. So we are fighting for the markets we made. We made these markets, and South America is wrecking our markets and wrecking our heritage. And we are going to fight and uh, not stop fighting, uh, do what we have to do. And uh, that's what we're about. That's what we're about. And, uh, again, when the consumer supports, we give back. Uh, go to PatriotFoods.com and look at our website. Look at our giving back. We have many good videos. Uh, I, I tell you, there, there was a man we, we supported, and uh, he was in the Battle of the Bulge, World War II our mm -hmm. oldest recipient and uh yeah it's a really good story right there on the website so that's what we're about and we are fighting fighting for the american farmer fighting for our markets and uh yeah that's that's what we're about yeah you offer different types of things on your website and different products and again great testimony on there and really good videos that everybody should spend a few minutes you know this morning and being that it's, you know, Memorial Day weekend, I think it's important that we recognize those that, you know, gave it all. And, and yeah. we're here today, proud of it. And we're still fighting the fight. Oh, absolutely. You know, my, my great-grandfather came home from World War One. My grandfather made it home from World War Two. But I'll tell you, a lot of their friends didn't. A lot of their friends didn't. And I don't care where your po politics are, right? We all have... Uh, moms, dads, brothers, cousins, sons, right? Aunts, uncles, uh, almost everybody has somebody that served uh, and, and fought for this right. great country. Yeah. And it's very important. We teach our children what the cemetery is about, right? And it's it's this weekend. That's Take right. your children out there and, and be proud. Be proud of these people uh, because they... You know, they're proud of their country. They're proud of us. They, yeah. they put their butt on the line for us, right? Yeah. And, and it seems these days that we have more and more people that are in this country that, I guess, to me, just seem to hate this country. And to me, uh, you know, I always try to say, well, go find a better one. And if it is, uh, let us know, because maybe some of us want to go there, too. But uh, I don't think there is a better one. And when it comes to really right. anything, with especially our rights that are given to us by God. That's right. God That's bless right. the USA. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think, too, though, that comes from, you know, that 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 uh, negativity comes from lack of education and understanding, because along right. the way, we're not teaching that yeah. as a, right. in our system and our school systems and our family molecular. Everything really needs to get back to the basics. And we need to wrap our arms around this country and around each other and bring it back to where we were in a wholesome United States of America and everybody all for one and one for all yeah. sort of uh, there, atmosphere. There's always going to be uh, differences of opinion, but it's discourse Absolutely. and being able to talk about it, which actually is what makes things happen. That's right. And we've gotten to a place where so many won't even listen at all to anything anybody has to say. And that just is going to it's going to short us all. That's right. That's right. That's that's right. I mean, you know, we all have our opinions and I have I have a lot of opinions. No. Um, Wait, what? I, I don't, wow. I, I don't I don't agree with what's going on in this in this country right now. But that's my opinion. Right. But I, I think it's very important. Uh, and, and that moment of silence you had early in the show mm -hmm. is very important. Uh, we're all Americans. We got to take care of each other, right? Yeah. And you know, most importantly, we got to teach our children. And I guess we got to start teaching adults, yeah. right? Yeah, we got to teach. I, I teach couldn't. Each other. If every one of us isn't heartbroken over what has happened, then uh, that those aren't the kind of people we want in this country. You should be heartbroken over what happened in Texas, right? That's right. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. It is. Absolutely. hundred percent. Yeah. We need to teach our kids the value of this country too. Yeah. That's Don't right. be ashamed of your country. Don't be ashamed of that's this right. country. 
a lot of good men and women have died for your dirt. Yeah. That's so right. be proud you of know, it. Every country, every person has made mistakes, and we haven't done everything perfectly. But when you look at what uh, our individual citizens are able to do uh, and to maximize their potential if they want to. Freedom. Freedom, yeah. They're not being held back by the government if they don't want to be. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. We got another moment of silence. I I think I I left Adam speechless for just a second. I don't know how that could happen. (laughs) He's thinking about what you were saying. (laughs) Hey, Adam, we we, we got about a couple minutes left with you uh, for this half hour of the show. So if there's anything that we just really need to hit and reiterate or, or max that point out, here it is. This is your time. Yeah, I tell you guys, if you can't find... U.S. only produce and you're looking for it and you want to support the U.S. farmer, go to PatriotFoods.com. We are not a survival food company. We are flash fresh frozen produce straight from your dirt, okay? Mm -hmm. And when when you shop at PatriotFoods.com, our farmers give back. And furthermore, we started another company. It's very exciting. It is a tremendous uh, traceability company. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It is U.S. Farm Hub. And Shelly is on it. Thank you, Shelly, for participating. On she was US just, Farm she was, Hub. oh, you're saying that. She was just looking like she was, didn't know what well, was no, going on. Well, no, I'm like thinking, what's he up to now? <laughs> yeah. You know, is yeah, he getting into you, something else or? That's right. That's right. So you can see the video right there, right in the retailer. You scan the QR code that's right. and it goes right to the farmer, right on the, right in the retailer, right on the shelf. Yep. So the retailers are learning it. They're liking it. We're getting a lot of good feedback. Uh, we want to promote the U.S. farmer any way we possibly can, right? So we have U.S. Farm Hub connected to our packaging, totally connected now. Yeah, and it's, it's beautiful fantastic. for 2022. Awesome. So. Hey, go ahead and spit out any contact information that you would like to give out, whether it's a phone number, another website, how people can get more information about you. Yeah, go to PatriotFoods.com. Scroll down on Google a little bit there. We are not emergency food. PatriotFoods.com. You can hit the Shop Now button, or you can go right to the website and see what we're about. And uh, we're proud of everything we do, and we're proud of our customers. Thank you, everybody, for supporting. That's right. I just have one comment I want to throw out there. Uh, I just want to know, I just want to let, if there's any growers out there listening today, they announced that there's going to be $6 billion in emergency relief funds available for mm. g- disaster areas that were in 2020 and 2021. If they need information uh, and they don't, they didn't get the email about it or have questions, they can go ahead. Rex, have, give me your number. Well, you, you can just get a hold of me at rex at mbbac.com. And uh, or you can call my cell phone number 269-217-0891 and we'll share it and let you know where the status is on it and what right. to look for. Awesome. Thank you, three. This is uh, the Blueberry Chicks by the Blueberry Store and the Blueberry Buzz and all the blueberry things that are going on Woo-hoo. in the world. This is Rob Bird's Moondog Red, Show. White and Blueberry. And we'll be right back. It is true. You can get quality social media marketing, radio time, and video production in one place. Moondog Productions specializes in all three. Now is the time to increase your presence and keep yourself in the public eye. Through Rob Bird's Moondog Show, Moondog Productions offers radio advertising, social media marketing, and video production that will get you noticed. Call Moondog Productions at 269-872-3049 to find out how we can design a program that will fit your budget. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. Are you planning a painting project and don't know who to call? Decorator's Choice Painting Company is one of the most highly referred services along the lakeshore. Serving this area for over 20 years, we look forward to providing professional services for you. Call us today at 269-270-5785 or email us at decoratorschoicesh at gmail.com. Take a look at our work at decoratorschoicesh.com. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. We're back on Robert's Moon Dog Show. Scott Taylor here in the studio with me this morning. Now, good morning, Scott. Hey, Rob, how you doing? Dude? I'm doing well. And for Mason Dixon, who was I? Uh, I he told me where he was going, but I I don't even remember. And on the phone, Dr. Max Masters from Masters Chiropractic and Rehabilitation. Good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Yeah. 
Good morning. Yeah, yeah. And Laura should be in here any minute. Uh, she said she's on her way, so we'll, we should be seeing her shortly uh, joining us. But uh, because her schedule is so busy now, she's always late. Now, well, you know, I now that uh, they're retired, they seem to be more busy and harder to find. Oh, yeah. really? Well, yeah. Well, no, I kind of know where to find them. But, uh, oh, okay. yeah, she's, she, <laughs> Laura hasn't stopped at all. She uh, she replaced her uh, hours of the restaurant with just doing stuff. So, yeah. Well, Catching well, up, probably. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, a little later in the show, we're going to have your intern, who we've talked about on uh, previous shows. We're going to have him on uh, to talk about what you guys have been doing, uh, Bray Plum. And, uh, well, I guess I, what are we going to talk to him about? Well, yeah, I want him to kind of talk about how the weight loss program is going. And I also, um, we had a, a clinic this last Monday that we had for everybody. And I guess nobody showed up. I think we had to get that word out there a little more for that. It's a free clinic that we're going to do for people to get there to do mobility. We're going to incorporate some yoga, some stretching, um, things that people can do every day at their house. It's just a class for people to sharpen their, their knowledge on right. these movements so they can go through one-on-one with Bray and with a class and kind of see what's going on. And then they can do these at home. No, Nobody so showed some, up to a free clinic. Yeah. It was really weird. That doesn't we sound right. They're gonna go. That's always yeah. the way though. Mm-hmm. Well, no, is it? It is. It, I think, it, people want free stuff, but they take advantage of it. And yeah, if, I think they want if, free they have to, right. if they have to pay for it, then they respect it. I mean, it's sure, yeah, that's like true. They, I, I think that's right, but I, just, I since this is such a new thing to us, I feel bad, kind of like, you know, this is new to us, new to you guys. Let's sure. see how it goes. But, yeah. Well, uh, I guess we have the knowledge and the professional um, professionalism of this that we should probably should be charging for. To be honest with you, we both have gone for school for this. Um, it's a program that, that we've developed, so it's just something I think right. that you know. I, but I, you know, I just want to get South Haven healthier in the long terms, and I just I really don't. I'm not in it for the, you know, for people to pay me to do it right now. I just kind of want people to get involved yeah. and get moving. So, well, I think that's a cool thing. I mean, you you've got a good practice. You you do well, and to be able to offer something back, uh, to and because it's for established patients, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, well, that's I, I think it's good stuff. And really, when it kind com- of com- comes down to it, it takes uh, usually a little while to uh, get the word out, and then it takes a little while to establish kind of a normal schedule. And actually, just random things typically can be tough on people. Right. Right. Yeah. So we're probably going to try to do. I think our time was really weird too. We we, we did it like at one fifteen on Monday. Oh. afternoon so that's kind of a tough time for people so that's pretty much only just retired people isn't it? or people like me who uh, are are uh, own their own business and can just leave whenever they want <laughs> yeah yeah that's true <laughs> so i was hoping you were going to be there rob no i was kidding but, well i didn't know about it i would yeah, no, you didn't so, you, so we'll have to put something out there next show we'll have a couple dates set and then we'll talk okay. about it yeah and then make sure that uh, you hit your social media hard and and that's still you know a lot of the ones that uh, people that are going to be using this might be a little older folks so maybe they're not as much on uh, social media to be able to get the word out how would you get it out to them uh you know what send letters to them i mean you've got a, probably a fairly decent mailing list i would think yeah we do we have that or you know this is the radio station here with you um i think it's a good way to reach out to them mm-hmm. uh so we do full flyers at certain like the senior center will probably put stuff up there yeah. um uh, we're trying to get something established with the senior center too to start doing some classes over there as well so we have a, these things is working out it's kind of tough. i know everybody's really busy right now it's just trying to get yeah everything. it takes a minute you know and we're we're still kind of i think that the, pretty much my view is the pandemics for the most part over but we're still coming out of that we're still and adjusting to that we're kind of hit with uh, some serious inflation and a lot of other things happening with bad policies and you know fuel costs and Maybe that's starting to uh, make people, you know, uh, stay home again a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. That's why the reason why these classes are free, and they're also for things they can do at home too. So it's not something you necessarily need to go to the gym to do, even though we do these classes at the gym. But it's something that they can easily do at sure. home. So yeah, you just need a little clear space. I would assume on the floor, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, okay. So you know how uh, how's everything else going at the uh, at the practice? Oh, we're doing really good. Um, really busy. Uh, uh, just you know, trying to keep everything coordinated with massages. I know we're booked out for a few months through the, almost to the fall right mm-hmm. now with massages. So, I mean, we're just trying to get, 
you know, we're trying to get other people, our therapists in to help us out and stuff like that, but it's hard to. Yeah, you know, and I mean, and obviously you've been through it already, uh, but, you know, finding people to uh, hire and to be able to do these jobs, it's the uh, pickings are slim out there. It is. Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, they're like they're starting their own gigs and their own businesses. And I understand that. So, I mean, kudos to them, you know, so. Well, uh, it's, it is tough. That's yeah. for sure. That, I mean, I learned a long time ago, I think when I worked for PBS, I had a 90 hour week and my hand was on the door when I got paged to say, you need to stay a few more hours and fix something. And, oh. you know, and at that time that was, I think that was 2007, 2006, my brain changed. And I said, this is never going to happen again. I'm going to be exactly on the pace where, uh, I sink and swim on my own. Nobody's sending me a check that I work for and go every day. I'm going to make it on my own. And, you know, so yeah. I, I think that's a, I think that's a good thing, but that's certainly not for everybody. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Sorry if you heard that's my daughter. She's, she's, the squirrels well, we outside. always, we always like when uh, she contributes to the show. Yeah. She <laughs> sure is getting talkative. Yeah. This all she is very, she's very chatty. <laughs> what kind of a squirrel do you have? Uh, this one looks like a gray squirrel out there right now. A gray squirrel. I think yeah. those are still black squirrels, but gray, or they're gray squirrels, but black. I can't remember. So they're it's, just they're old squirrels. Yeah. Now you know the the black squirrels that are here. They are just kind of native to this area. You, they're actually they're not even native to the area. They're actually from England. Well, yeah, they're, they're not native, but this is the only place you can find them. I was, right. That's not w- what I meant. W. K. Kellogg brought them over. He, he did. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I'm from Battle Creek, so yeah. I know that whole story. But we, they're only like, in, in this area, and people come up here and that aren't from here and see these squirrels, and they say, what the heck are those things? Yeah, it's so weird because, you know, we've grown up with them. It's just like, oh, it's just a black squirrel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. So, and uh, and then it's, I'm sure. <laughs> Scott, do you have a question, Thumb Twiddler? No, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out my spot yet because I'm. It's it's so hard to replace Mason Dixon. It, it is hard to replace. It's Mason so Dixon. hard to replace. Yeah. So I'm like, am I supposed to be like Mason Dixon or just no. respect Mason Dixon? No, you be like you a know. kid and spoke and speak when you're spoken to. I'll sit in the corner. <laughs> I'll sit in the corner where I'm playing. Children should be seen but not heard. That's, that's right. That's, that's what right. I got to hear as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so dr max uh anything big coming up this summer anything new you know we got the, the weight loss program with bray but uh you know you're always got to be looking kind of at the future and how the business is going to unfold yeah right now we're just kind of we're we're so busy with patient care right now i think it's just kind of um and who knows what's going to happen with like the economy right now so the recession so we're just trying to make everything very accessible to patients right now that's our big goal Right. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, kick out some contact information. That's all of our time that we've got today. Uh, they can find us at southhavenchiropractic.com or they can call us at 269-639-2545. All right. Daddy, Dr. Max Masters from <laughs> yeah. Masters Chiropractic and Rehabilitation. You're awesome, and we will see you soon. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll be back on Robert's Moondog Show with Brooke Blanchard from YDC Pal. Hi, Nicole Galata here with Galata Imagery, your South Haven local photographer. Specializing in family and wedding photography, I also photograph engagement, maternity, seniors, and so much more. Find me on Facebook and Instagram or on my website at galataimagery.com. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. Are you planning a painting project and don't know who to call? Decorator's Choice Painting Company is one of the most highly referred services along the lakeshore. Serving this area for over 20 years, we look forward to providing professional services for you. Call us today at 269-270-5785 or email us at decoratorschoicesh at gmail.com. Take a look at our work at decoratorschoicesh.com. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. It is true. You can get quality social media marketing, radio time, and video production in one place. Moondog Productions specializes in all three. Now is the time to increase your presence and keep yourself in the public eye. Through Rob Bird's Moondog Show, Moondog Productions offers radio advertising, social media marketing, and video production that will get you noticed. Call Moondog Productions at 269-872-3049 to find out how we can design a program that will fit your budget. 
We're back on Robert's Moondog Show. Scott Thaler here in the studio in place of Mason Dixon. But you're really not in place of Mason. You're here to, no, well, nobody to can be re- part. Nobody no. can replace Mason. Well, I don't think that's necessarily true. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I think know. he's highly replaceable, but uh, we do still like him regardless. Laura Russin hasn't made it in yet. I'm hoping she's here very soon. But uh, regardless of all that, we have one of our very favorite people on the phone, Brooke Blanchard from YDC Pal. Good morning to you, Brooke. Good morning, Rob Bird and Scott Thaler. Yeah, okay. Hey, big to doings a little bit later today here behind a Harbor Light Brewery, right? Isn't it like yes. a tie dye? I'm so excited. I'm getting ready to head down there now. Kids. Yeah, oh, okay. So uh, I guess what's happened? What time does that start and what's happening? 10 to 1, and it's $20 a shirt, kid or adult. And we have 250 shirts, and we want to sell them all. All right. I keep thinking that I want to get a tie dye, but whenever I see myself in a picture with a tie dye, I feel like I'm a balloon. I say, you look like a balloon. Don't quit wearing tie dyes. <laughs> no. And you know what? That's absolutely not true. Everyone should own a tie dye shirt. And if you don't have one, we can help you with that today. Right. I had a, a blue uh, tie dye shirt uh, that said uh, Welcome to South Haven or something. And then I uh, got a picture taken to me next to Nate Milky. At uh, mm-hmm. Captain Nemo's, and he's tall and thin, and you know, and I thought that I was looking pretty good, and then I looked at this picture, and I looked like a damn blueberry in this thing <laughs> <laughs> next to him. So, yeah, oh. but I'm sure uh, maybe my maybe if I have a tie dye that has reds and yellows in it, that would actually be better. Yeah, and you know what's really cool about these shirts is um, so Harbor Light. Obviously, they are hosting the event. We also had um, the Great Lakes Trails. Um, they were a co-sponsor, so uh, we want to give a shout out to them too, and we really are grateful for you know their contribution to help make this a, a successful event. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, and I know that it will be. Uh, you do a very good job with your marketing and letting people know. And even even on top of that, you have so many kids a part of your program. Just if, if a little bit of them show up with their parents, right. it's a success. Exactly. You know, and it's it's so exciting at eleven thirty, um, Kitty. Kitty Jones, Kitty Di- from Kitty Tie Dyes, she is amazing. She's so talented. She's a fantastic artist, and she has perfected the art of tie dyeing. Uh, and she would be it'd be worth it just to come and see the stuff that she does. But um, certainly buy one as well. But uh, so we're excited that she's able to join us and do that. And that demonstration's at eleven thirty. So we're excited to have yeah. her. And um, sounds like we're going to have a big crowd. We're excited. It should be nice. What you know? What are you going to do with the money after uh, you know it's all said and done? You know, we're we're saving for that building. Um, and really it's it's really just a collaboration of all these small fundraisers leading up to a big one. So, you know, it's all just collection for the the building fund, a capital campaign for that. Okay. Well, obviously uh, we've got one uh, happening here today. Uh, what's on the horizon after that as far as fundraisers? You know, we have um, one that's coming up. It's going to be... Um, for our littles. So it's um, tic tac toe for tots. <laughs> tic tac toe and for tots, huh? Yeah, so we have these um, discs of wood and they're polyurethane and they're made into a tic tac toe board. And our kids are, they have painted rocks to in X's and O's, and that's a set. Mm. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and you said there's a bunch of little ones leading up to a big one. Any other little ones before the big one? Yes. Yeah, so we're doing a um, quarters, K-U-A-R-T-R-S. Oh, I was going to say that sounded like one that I could get into, but uh, yeah, that a, that it's a college quarters thing. for kids, <laughs> okay. quarters for kids. And um, they are going to do a quarter collection contest. Oh, really? And yep, amongst the sites. And, you know, we would love it if we could get businesses involved to just collect as many quarters throughout. They, they haven't established the time frame yet. We're going to wait for our summer day camp to start and do that with the kids. Mm, okay. So uh, those out there, uh, get your quarters ready. And now, now does someone have to approach them or can they give you a call and say, hey, I've got a big old jar of quarters I'd like to donate? Absolutely. They can call us with anything. So 639-2489 is our, our phone number. Okay. So send us some quarters. 
I hope the coin shortage. Yeah, and doesn't. I'm really excited because is there a coin? Um, the oh, I- Scott's talking coin shortage. Well, over they here. were talking about a coin shortage like a year ago. Yeah, and, and it's like oh, has it okay. has it caught back up or no? I, I, I think everybody was just hoarding it because I, I know I was. I've hoarded all my quarters. <laughs> I got a couple of huge quart jars full of them. Well, we're really excited because the way that we're going to gauge who won the most, I mean, obviously we can count them, but the kids are all going to lie them down and see how long they can make their their trail of quarters. Sure. Okay. So uh, other fundraisers? You know, we have a few things coming up also. The um, um, It is, oh my goodness, it's escaping me the name of it. I'll have to get back to you on that, but it is with, uh, in partnership with the, um, trails, the Great Lakes Trails Group, and, um, I want to say it's called, Angelica always gets it right, and I always get it wrong, (laughs) but I think it's Beers and Bikes. Beers and Bikes, it sounds good. So the it's a bicycle tour that is going to be coming through, and I think they're doing Lake to Lake. So they are going to be stopping at Lake Arvesta, and uh, they wanted to do a fundraiser for vets and for YDC. Cool. So we're very excited, and that's at the beginning of September. I think it's September 9th, and, and certainly stay tuned for that because we want to make sure that we get the right information yeah. out. And I, I apologize for getting that wrong. I'm sure I didn't get it right, but uh, we'll be starting promoting that here in just the next couple okay. of weeks. I've got about a minute and a half left here. Uh, another okay. one. Anything else I need to know? No, uh, well, actually, we are still looking for a couple of staff in South Haven and Water Valide. I think um, we're pretty staffed up there in Bangor, but uh, we're looking for a, a location in Coloma. The programs over there are just huge. Mm-hmm. So we're we're running into maybe a space issue, and we really hate telling parents that we're at capacity because of the space. Right. So if, you know, there's anyone in that area that's, you know, familiar with a church that'd be willing to lend some space, certainly give us a call, um, 269-639-2489. Um, our registration events were uberly, you know, uh, it, um, <laughs> yeah, that's how I've been all morning so far. Tongue twisted. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They awful. were a huge success. <laughs> Those programs were a huge success. Right. And uh, we're very excited to be able to bring these pro- the summer day camp back. And it's just going to be the best one ever. You know, we met with some school personnel this week and wanted to learn a little bit more about what they wanted from our summer program. And, you know, a lot of them really just want us to teach them how to play, yeah. you know, communication and, and really just get back to it as opposed to being in that technology mindset, which, you know, we, we are very minimal on screen time. Yeah. So okay. we don't have time for all that. We're outside too much and and speaking of don't have time we've run out of our time uh laura (laughs) russin has finally graced our presence here in the studio this morning good morning to you laura good Good morning morning, good morning hi scott Uh, so yeah okay well kick out some of my contact info one more time so people can find out more Sure. Check us out on our Facebook page, of course, Youth Development Company, YDC Pal. Um, Our website is ydcpal.org. You can give us a call at 269-639-2489. Awesome. Thank you, Brooke. Executive you, Director of YDC Pal. Come we'll, see us from 10 to 1. Behind yeah, absolutely. Our Here, a couple hours. We'll see you then. And uh, we will be back on Rob Bird's Moondog Show. We're going to find out uh, why, why Laura is so late all the time. Rob It is true. You can get quality social media marketing, radio time, and video production in one place. Moondog Productions specializes in all three. Now is the time to increase your presence and keep yourself in the public eye. Through Rob Bird's Moondog Show, Moondog Productions offers radio advertising, social media marketing, and video production that will get you noticed. Call Moondog Productions at 269-872-3049 to find out how we can design a program that will fit your budget. Hi, I'm Holly Lawson from Drawing Children Into Reading, also known as DCIR. We're an early childhood fine motor building resource that will enhance your child's visual ability to express and communicate in pictures and words. In the classroom, we start with proper pencil grip, develop a longer attention span, and kickstart a whole new world when your child learns to draw, write, and read in that order. To unleash the happiness and find out more about this groundbreaking program, visit DCIR.org. 
We're back on Robert's Moon Dog Show. All right. Well, it's just us for a segment here. Uh, after this segment, we're going to actually give uh, Bray Plum a call, your uh, friend who you are doing some uh, some of the clinics with Dr. Yes, Max, which we yes. just talked about uh, before He's we talked to good. Brooke. Yeah. Scott Thaler here in the studio. Morning, Scott, again. Morning, all. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, of course, Laura Russell is finally here with us. What's what's your uh, deal today? My deal? This morning. Well, um... Now that you can finally come in. So, I can't lie. I, I just had dinner. I didn't have breakfast. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you had so, an early breakfast, dinner? Right, dinner? right. Okay. It's a retirement life. It's a exactly. retirement life. Yeah. They Peter, quit at five in the morning. Right. No, not really. <laughs> no. I'm too old for that. But <laughs> Peter Ford is in town. So we had uh, dinner with Peter Ford mm-hmm. and his lovely mother, Louise yeah. Ford. Everybody knows from Miss South Haven. Right. And, and it, seems, it seems like when I talked to you earlier today, I said, maybe you guys should do 430. Oh, yeah. And you didn't. Yeah. You're still at five, well, right? Well, Peter, we always have so much to talk about. Mm-hmm. And then you throw the girls in there, too. But <laughs> Peter... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we know big, how that goes. Yeah, bomb on us right before we left. So I had to, I had to he be tardy. Dropped a bomb. Yeah, he told me something I didn't know. So really, something like, we can share with our viewing no. audience, no. our listening audience. <laughs> no, no, no but right. it's it's pretty exciting. All right, well, that, that good that it's a positive thing. I guess it is. if it's Very exciting. Positive. All right, he must be moving back or something. No, nope. no. Okay, um, he's having a baby. He's transitioning to a female. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's, no, he's, no, he's no, no. changed his pronouns. No, he, he has <laughs> it, You know, it's it's some music okay. stuff that's happening. Good thing. And Atlanta. All right, awesome. So. Good for him. Good for him. All right. Well, Scott Thaler, I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit. Um, before I do that, I'm going to ma- make sure that everybody knows that we do have a website, and it's uh, moondogshow.com. You can check out our pictures, and uh, and I've got to get some new ones up here for the blueberry uh, chicks, but uh, Shelly's a hard one to pin down for time, but I think she wants to wait till it's a blueberry season so we go out to the full bl- blueberry bushes oh, that, yeah i think they're gonna put me in a blueberry nice. bear suit or oh, something yeah. yeah i've seen that yeah. yeah so that that sounds like fun so yeah and then of course uh if you're looking for any kind of video moondogpro.net um i do make video and not to toot my own horn too hard it's usually pretty good stuff it's for really the most part stuff. yeah so and uh let's see trust and bird you can check that out for some music and we're getting zeroing in on that second album it's getting real close i can taste it you know how you get kind of the end of a project and everything tightens up and you're get jittery and you just want to run out of the room and say i quit and never come back <laughs> yeah. that's where i'm at right now but yeah. uh oh. we're like but yeah. we're but we're having that but it's in that uh real creative of zone it's all i'm energized for it you know after mom's passing it took a couple months to kind of i mean i still worked and, and and made sure i got stuff done but you know kind of for that because it's kind of a secondary thing for me it was just not a hard one to, to well, get it up does. on when you go through something emotional like that it kind of sucks the creativeness out of you yeah, for a minute so. it did so i yeah. get it but i think all that's coming back and i think we're uh, gonna put out a, a pretty darn nice album here yeah, and you got a sneak peek of it. And, and, I, I really yeah. like it. And Mr. Uh, uh, Scott Thaler, Scott T, will be on it for a song, uh, Shining City Lights, which is actually a song, oh, four or five years ago. We kind of wrote yeah, together. Yeah, we co-wrote. Yeah. Well, we're not say co-wrote. Yeah, I, yeah, give you you wrote, about, you... I give you about 15% on that one. <laughs> okay, I'll but, take it. I'll well, take whatever little yeah. bit. <laughs> But it's, it's, those crowns. Well, it's, it's a driving yeah. song for the most part. It, it was kind of based on Scott and I. We sat there and talked about, hey, we want to make a song. And then we talked about uh, truck driving and all that and all, you know, the, the life. And, well, we just kind of wrote the song and it kind of came out to be that. Shining city lights, they guide my way. You know, yeah, you, you know, on the road, you see the lights up there. The highway takes you to them. You pass those lights and go to the next ones. Yeah. I kind of like those videos you used to do with moms and, mm-hmm. and you would put the camera up on the semi mm-hmm. and you had it reminded me of those all those lights oh yeah, that was a crazy video. one of the real fun ones i used to love putting the gopro on the front of the semi and drive through chicago oh, yeah. you know so as you're going i mean and you speed it up a thousand percent it looks like you're running a uh, nascar race in it you know you're driving it, it's it looks like you're, you're flying cars come up and then you pass cars and cars in there and yeah, and, yeah it's, it's kind of sure cool you've seen that one it's pretty cool yeah 
Yeah, I don't yeah. think you haven't seen that. He's I like, I don't remember. I don't remember these. <laughs> I, 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 re, I remember my own visions of I these shot things. those brain cells but a long time when, ago. When I'm going through there after 23 hours of roll. No, I can't say that legally. I know. Oh, I, no. I, oh, oh, no. Well, yeah, no, you, can say it. It. you can say it. You can say that you used to break the law all the time. I broke the law. Now no, that you're no, not breaking the yeah, law. Yeah, now that I don't break the law anymore. I, I don't know, man. It's, they come after you after some stuff anymore. I mean, stuff that happened 20 years ago. These guys are going to, they're getting caught on. No, I gotta, You're like, yeah. you never did hey, that. No, you, we never did. No. You remember never that happened. time when you drove for 23 hours straight 10 years ago? Yeah, mm-hmm. remember that time? Yeah. Let me see that logbook, son. Well, we, we need to talk about that. <laughs> How long do you have to keep your logbooks? How long? Yeah. Um, you usually keep, I think it's... You have to have like ten days. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I was so not say, like seven years. Yeah. I was yeah, say no, no. I lo- my log books would but, already be burnt, but, and I'd be saying, "Bite the, me." The bad part is I do because that's. I, I mean, I started driving nineteen ninety three, that's so why I kind of kept track. And it's like, I, I mean, right now, I, I if I went back and added them all. I'm probably just shy of three million miles. You know, it's wow, it's just shy. I mean, it's somewhere. Right. Somewhere back in there, but it's, you know, a lot of... Uh, <laughs> it's hard enough to drive a car through a Chicago rush hour, let alone a semi. Well, I think it's actually pretty easy to drive through in rush hour because you're just taking your foot off the brake. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And moving forward, slow, putting your foot back slow. on the brake, take yeah. your foot off the brake and put it back on. I think it's a lot of fun, especially driving through there about 2 in the morning. And everybody's going 100 miles an hour. Yeah. It is a blast. Yeah. That's when I love driving That's when you Chicago. get the roll. Especially in summer, windows down, and get, yeah. they get the loud driving music, and roll, baby, That's roll. That's why I don't well, that, ride with yeah. Ron. Mm-hmm. That, that was what, a long time ago, the, the uh, something that, so, you know, how Facebook asked, where do you work? I right. said, I work at getting out of bed before noon because I, run, I would run all night, you know, oh, because right. it was so, so much better to yeah. run d- through the night than it was trying to battle the, the everyday traffic. So I would just let everybody do their thing, and then I'd roll out, you know, and then just... I like, it, it I just, like driving you know. at night, and I like driving on Sundays when I travel because most everybody's home on Sunday. Right, you right. know, you go, go through Atlanta or you go through Chicago, it's much easier. Yeah, I guess. It seems like everybody's on the road here on Sundays heading back to Chicago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So, hey, you know, uh, and just to tell everybody, you're you're off the road now, and you have your uh, you're doing a business, and you kind of are moving into doing some excavating. I guess uh, let everybody know if anybody's looking for an excavator, how they can get a hold of you. Well, yeah, I'm. In, I mean, I'm in the initial stages, so I'm not really at that point to really release it out yet. Um, trying, well, he, trying to get everything. He's straight. in the place where he can bring over a shovel. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a skid steer. Um, I'm getting ready to do a pond job here in June. Um, so for the most part, some basic stuff at know, the moment. Yeah, it's just some some stuff that I'm just getting kind of getting the feet wet, and then I'm going to go, you know, full bore at right. it and, and just okay. So I, it, as far as the legalized name and all that other stuff, it's, you don't have it's, it's, it's in a, Yeah, I'm throwing a couple of things around. But all right, you don't want to talk about it on the radio? Well, we can talk all we want. I all mean, right. it, I mean, I'm. Looking at like herding dirt, herding dirt, herding dirt, dirt oh, herder. Like, like it, I'm a dirt, dirt herder. Right. You know, yeah. you're pushing right. dirt. You're, yeah. you're a dirt herder. I, you I remember so. when this young kid called a friend of mine who was in landscaping, and I'm not going to say his name. He called him a dirt farmer, and that was the, the look on his face was the funniest thing I ever seen <laughs> when he when he called him that. But I do we need to take a break, and when we come back. Uh, we're going to call Bray Plum, uh, the intern over at Masters Chiropractic and Rehabilitation, to find out what he's doing with the weight loss program on Rob Bird's Moon Dog Show. If you're looking for some fresh new music, check out the music of the Truss and Bird Band. Find all their music wherever you do your streaming. You can also find them on iTunes if you would like to purchase it for your collection. Truss and Bird Band's music is a gritty mix of rock, blues, pop, and a little bit of reggae and country in the mix. Check out TrussandBirdBand.com to see all their music videos and find out more about this amazing group of musicians. That's TrussandBirdBand.com. T-R-U-S-I-N-B-Y-R-D Band.com. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. Are you planning a painting project and don't know who to call? Decorator's Choice Painting Company is one of the most highly referred services along the lakeshore. Serving this area for over 20 years, we look forward to providing professional services for you. Call us today at 269-270-5785 or email us at decoratorschoicesh at gmail.com. Take a look at our work at decoratorschoicesh.com. 
Com. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. You're listening to Rob Bird's Moon Dog Show on WCSY FM, South Haven. Rob Bird's Moon Dog Show. We're back on Rob Bird's Moon Dog Show. Scott Thaler here in the studio. I think you might just replace Mason Dixon. Maybe he's done. Maybe we'll just get rid of Mason. What do you oh, think? stop. No, you don't man. think so, Laura? No, we can't do that. Can't do that. No, I'm kidding. He's I, our little I, buddy. I like Mason, and I think uh, he, he has uh, a, a value add to the show, You know, for sure. He's yeah. going to have animosity towards me, no? Yeah, probably. <laughs> he's, yeah. He's, he's no, gonna, he won't. Well, that's going to exactly, think I'm vying for his spot. That's exactly why I'm saying it. You'll get to probably see him at karaoke on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So He's hey, going to have animosity towards me. That he is. Oh. Well, and uh, I do need to get to the man on the phone, Bray Plum. How are you, Bray? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. And if uh, at other shows we've talked about, we talked about a little earlier that Bray is the intern at Masters Chiropractic and Rehabilitation, and he's yeah. been uh, working a program for weight loss. And we're going to do some video stuff later for the website. But right now, let's just talk about that program. So what is that weight loss program all about? Well, what it's about, it's uh, kind of enforcing, reinforcing uh, healthier habits um, for those that believe in themselves and want to make a better change. Uh, to live a healthier life. Um, really, we're looking for is healthier habits uh, that will lead to weight loss and so on. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's just kind of like a perk or a goal, if you will. Okay. Um, more so just looking for um, people who are motivated uh, by themselves um, and looking just to better themselves. Well, that, that must be motivation is uh, Miss Laura Russin, who is part of the program. How is, oh, your, how is your motivation, Laura? It was quite well. Yeah, get, a, yes. get right up to that microphone. All right. So I, I think I'm doing all right, aren't I, Bray? Oh, yeah. You're killing it. Yeah, You're yeah. Killing yeah. It. She's, Laura comes in every week with a smile on her face um, we, with progress as well. Um, habits are, are changing for the better, too. Yeah. Um, have you got her off a of pop yet? She's got a good spirit. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, the pop is limited. You limited Definitely. the pop. Yeah, limited. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're yes. down. We're down pops. Yeah, we're good. We're we're rolling. Yeah, when when I limit pop, I end up doubling the uh, sugar for my lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just pretty much doing water. Very nice, good. Yeah. And you water, know, in this, water and gardening. Mm-hmm. You know how a lot of gardening, a lot of that's right. flower gardening. That's right. Yeah, and you can use the water for the flowers too if you need to. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So so Bray, uh, where'd you go to school? So I recently just graduated from Grand Rapids, or uh, in, from Grand Rapids, but uh, Grand Valley State University. Right, Grand Valley State and the yeah. the Lakers. I worked for them for about right. seven years at the rate at the oh, TV okay. station for PBS, um, oh, cool. WGVU. Yeah, so you know I ran the sports show and all that stuff there for quite a few years. Yeah. Um, do you like it? Do you like Grand Valley? Oh, I loved it. It was very good to me. Very good to me. Yeah. I spent time in Allendale. Also spent time in Grand Rapids. Um, did work in Grand Rapids at a, a gym as well there. Um, but it was really good to me. School itself had everything that I was, um, in, you know, looking to be involved in. Right. Um, a lot of opportunity. A lot of friends. A lot of people. Um, it was great. Great area. Yeah, oh, it absolutely is. Uh, Grand Rapids is awesome, and Allendale is its own thing out there. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of the tale of two cities between the Allendale campus and the Grand Rapids campus. And, right. And, and they both have a real nice feel. But you can, when you look at uh, their campus, you know that they've spent money on it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very well, the infrastructure. I mean, the sports, too. Um, there's just always something going on, which... It's Which is why you're a lot poorer now after spending all that <laughs> money for school. Right, 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 right. And, and, and right. I would say at the moment, uh, in the intern and uh, things going on, it was worth it. Oh, absolutely. And it's cool to see my education and knowledge be at play. Right. You know, you're looking back, you know, man, going through it, it stinks, but it's well worth it when you're like, wow, I actually did learn a few things and am able to help others by the education I yeah. received. So it's kind of cool to receive that. Yeah. Well, I went to college to play baseball, to meet girls, to drink, <laughs> to do all kinds of hang out with the guys. And then every once in a while, I threw a little school in there. And right, I, right. I sometimes <laughs> uh, hesitate to say, man, I wonder what kind of grades I could have got if I would have actually been serious <laughs> about it. I mean, I right. never tried. I just rolled through the motions, got through, got grades and graduated. Right. Moved on, so. Primary was fun. Secondary was education. That's right. That's right. Uh, but uh, it's good that you, I mean, that's always something to fall back on in life and it's good to have for sure. And that piece of paper um, is certainly hard earned. That's for sure. Yeah. So, okay. So Dr. Max Masters, uh, how's it been working uh, for uh, Dr. Max? 
it's awesome. Him and I, I mean, it's cool because I find myself a younger version of Max, Dr. Max, mm -hmm. um, which is fun. We both like to hunt. Um, we both enjoy the outdoors, very active, both are in CrossFit, uh, working out. So we share a lot of, uh, um, if you will, interests and just hobbies. Yeah. So it makes conversation very easy, but also learning from him. He's full of energy, yeah. as so am I. Being that he's, he's an old man and all. Yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> a dad. Yeah. 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 No, and it's yeah, a, a dad it, now, dad of two now. That's well, right. Well, soon, soon to be, but... Um, but yeah, man, it's it's been a blessing to kind of be a part of the office, meet the crew. Um, he's given me a lot of responsibility with kind of the weight loss program and doing some mobility work with his patients, um, offering that around town. So you know, it's definitely a great contact yeah. and someone to network with. Well, for sure, and he's a he's a great mentor, and he'll be a good mentor for you. Listen right. to him, and and you can teach probably him some stuff too. So I think that's uh, going to be a good thing for both of you. So. Well, yeah. what's your what's your end goal? I mean, I know that just losing weight, but uh, what kind of success do you really want to see with this uh, weight loss program? Uh, for me personally, and with yeah. each person, yeah, coming your in, own personal, because this I mean, right. let's make I mean, it about you for a minute. Well, I mean, my my personal goal with this whole weight loss is for everyone to come back in with a smile. I mean, and with uh, you know, we kind of log. You know, say, hey, how's your week going? You know, Laura, for example, you know, tell me about your week, good and bads, ups and downs, whatever, where you went good, where you went bad. Um, but the fact that they continue to come in is the shows me that they care um, about the program. And most importantly, they care about themselves. Um, and with, you know, 10 to 12 weeks of that, my hopes and dreams of this is just to see better, healthier habits. Yeah. Um, the weight loss to me is just an added plus. Great. That's awesome. But we're here to make 10 weeks of progress, 10 weeks of habits turn into a lifetime of, you know, health. Sure. So um, hopefully for what they learn in the next 10 weeks yeah. is something that they can kind of just take on their build off their own. Uh, with new added knowledge. Sure. Are, you, are you doing any kind of a strength program? Because obviously you can, people can go on a diet, you can lose weight, right. but really uh, you don't want to just do that. You want to gain some strength along the way. And a lot of times people who are do a lot of strength training, they'll be lean and cut, but they'll weigh more because of the, the muscle mass. More muscle mass, right. Yeah, no, right now, I mean, I'm not prescribing. Uh, everyone comes in with different goals, um, different mindsets as well. So it's not kind of like one diet fits all or one program fits all. It's kind of fitting um, to everybody's needs. So, for instance, I mean, a lot of people, um, especially in just in society today, don't eat enough and also don't even uh, kind of consume enough protein to have that muscle mass. Mm -hmm. um, so more so that's a big push of mine is to try to increase like the protein intake um, and just to get outside move around for 20 to 30 minutes a day, whether that's a walk, whether that's doing some machines um, or, you know, hitting the treadmill or whatever it is, whatever sure. you have the opportunity to do, whether it bands or not. But for me, it's my, you know, what I suggest is, Hey, 30 minutes of exercise a day. So, you know, a lot of people say, Oh, I don't have time for that. Well, can you sacrifice 30, 10, 30 minutes in the morning? You know, that you usually dilly dally around right. or maybe you have to cut out some sleep. Maybe yeah. you have to go to bed. Or There's no way in right. hell I'm There's cutting out my nap. That, right. Right. No yeah, way. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, Bray, I, I think you're doing a wonderful job there, and it sounds like you've uh, got a great head on your shoulders and you have a good uh, plan for how you're going to deal with these folks, but we do need to take a break, and I just want to say thank you. I think you're doing a great job. I appreciate it. Thank you much. All right. See you Wednesday. Yeah, see, you, see you next yeah, week. Yeah, I'll see you Wednesday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll be back on Robert's Wind Dog Show. Hi, Nicole Galata here with Galata Imagery, your South Haven local photographer. Specializing in family and wedding photography, I also photograph engagement, maternity, seniors, and so much more. Find me on Facebook and Instagram or on my website at galataimagery.com. It is true. You can get quality social media marketing, radio time, and video production in one place. Moondog Productions specializes in all three. Now is the time to increase your presence and keep yourself in the public eye. Through Rob Bird's Moondog Show, Moondog Productions, Productions offers radio advertising, social media marketing, and video production that will get you noticed. Call Moondog Productions at 269-872-3049 to find out how we can design a program that will fit your budget. We're back on Robert's Moondog Show, and we were going to send uh, Bray Plum on his way. 
to head out to go do whatever he needed to do for the rest of the day. That was a nice little rhyme right there, Laura Russell here yeah. and, yeah. and uh, Scott Thaler. But then I, I hit, uh, we we're in our break, and Scott had a question. So, Scott, go ahead and ask uh, Bray a question. Well, hey, Bray, um, my question yeah. was on that. We, we started a conversation off. You said, I, I want to deal with these motivated people, this and this. Well, what I mean, most people, when they're talking weight loss, I mean, I don't know what kind of, but how do you deal with the unmotivated? Yeah, I mean, you know, right. how do we how do we turn it around? I mean, I'm a 52 year old man, a little overweight, my own fault. You know, been trucking for a while. You get those truck stop diners and you start putting the pounds on, and it's like, yeah, okay. But I mean, my last motivation was a drill instructor at boot camp, <laughs> and, it's, it, and yeah. you know, it's trying to get myself back to, together with stuff as well. I mean, I, I'm I've been doing doing all right, but I mean, how do you deal with those people? Yeah, no, very good question, very fair question. So I would before um, you before you go with this, Bray. I would assume that most of the people you have are fairly motivated because they're already there. Right, so that's the reason. There's, yeah, they, no one's driving them there. No one's forcing them there. It's uh, they're there on their own choice and their own will. But how, how, um, do, how do I guess the, the other side of that is how do you pick up that motivation? Because even though they're there on their own, uh, you know, own volition, yeah, sometimes you come in and ah, I just well, really don't want to do nothing. Well, it's sad right. too, but it, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Brad. But it, it's like you know the doctor said earlier in, in the show, you know, with these free programs that he's given, you know, how do we get more people to get more involved to, to, to get you interested? Know, to, yeah, to get interested. Mm-hmm. In this. Yeah, no, great question. Um, you know, how do I deal with the unmotivated um, kind of characters? Well, uh, for the most part, I kind of just reinstate you know hey you're here and i'm just so happy that you're here i'm so glad that you're here i try to reinforce some love reinforce some um just letting them be aware that they are here for themselves they're not there they're not here for anyone else um and kind of more so just reinforcing that um it's very small steps and baby steps should be rewarded and should be um, praise, you know, like, you know, shedding one pound in one or two weeks, like, Hey, that's a victory. That's better than where we started. Um, and so I try to turn, um, you know, these big astronomical goals into very small, steady goals. Mm-hmm. Um, so that they, when they come in they're they're not looking for, Oh my gosh, I want to wear a bikini next week and lose 30 pounds. Hey, let's like get a little more realistic and let's, let's learn about ourselves and kind of be more aware so that we can figure out how to win these small battles and these small victories. Because to me, every day you wake up, there's your life is filled with obstacles and small victories. Um, so to me, it's like a mindset of what I'm trying to kind of shape them into, um, how to just adopt a healthier mindset that's more motivating for themselves, not just for them to come to see me, but I want them to wake up stronger uh, and believe in themselves a little more. So um it's more so you know how the right. majority of them are motivated but yeah there's some that are negative and are more so down on themselves but yeah we'll acknowledge you know hey where they may be messed up or where they could be better but i'm 100 percent reinforcing the reason why they're there and they're there for themselves um to become better yeah uh, so laura is that why you're there Yes. yes, but he, he is very, very positive. You go in there, you're happy to see him. He's happy to see you. Hey, what did you do, you know, good this week? W- what do you need to work on? Like he said, and he makes you want to come back the next week. So you make uh, make people do a little self-evaluation. Yeah, right. Well, that's yeah. incredibly right. important. If people can be serious and, uh, and honest about themselves, it goes a long ways. Yeah, and it's hard. I mean, I feel like, and especially in today's world, transparency is very lacked. It's, you know, and I really um, push that for people to be very honest and transparent with themselves. And for me, just so we can be on the same page and a little more understanding of what's going in their body and what's going, yeah. you know, what's going out and what they're doing. It doesn't do uh, anything. You can't do anything with them if they're lying to you about, right. you know, their diet. No, I did right. great, but they ate. Uh, they they were uh, having a uh, marathon of eating candy bars all week. Well, <laughs> and that that scale will tell you. I mean, you're yeah. not going to lose every week. I have so far, but you know, there's yeah, some you days you thanks. That, um, <laughs> there's weeks you're just going to maybe maintain, or you know, you didn't right. walk right. as much but as you should have. An, you'll have a nice scale victory, though. I mean, uh, in some sort. I mean, you you. I've done this before myself, but you start seeing. 
Oh, your yes. Bo- you don't lose any weight, but your body changed. You know, you, you look at yourself in right. a mirror and you're like, oh, where, why, where did, yeah. where'd that cave in? Well, I think their biggest right. enemy is actually right. the scale, is looking at the scale every day. Because yeah. that's just oh, the yeah. most oh, frustrating thing as it can be. I do it once a right. week. That's and it. One thing, one thing that, I mean, in terms of small victories of like, I know, right, a lot of their goals is weight. So when we do do weigh-ins weekly, um, but when they, you know, let's say they see a number that they don't like, but they crafted a way better habit that week. Maybe, maybe they learn to not be tempted by soda anymore or by a certain item mm-hmm. that, you know, is just super loaded in sugar. I don't maybe know if that, that can ever go away. One for every time they go out, they don't even crave dessert. Like those are things and habits that we like, Oh my gosh, that is so great because we've graduated from that. So now, you know, it's like Laura, Laura's drinking less pop. Well, sooner or later, she might be able to cut out pop and not even have, you know, a tempted or taste for it. Yeah. And then she's drinking so, that really bad diet stuff, I know. which is even worse for you. I know, because I don't <laughs> drink regular pop at all. I drink that nasty diet the, pop. The real <laughs> the, the real sugar pop is actually a little better than drinking your corn syrup and your your uh, <laughs> yeah, your diet with your uh well I I'm drawing a blank on that uh that I flavoring. No, oh. the uh Oh, what is it? The Crown Royal? No, the no. Cancer <laughs> yeah, the Crown, not the I'm Crown like, Royal. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. that? No, it's the cancer-causing agent that's in... Um, oh, in, in Diet Pop. Yeah, I want to say saccharin, but it's not... A, what is it? The Oh, yeah. The, now, yeah oh, look at this. After, after you bring this up. Yeah, what a bunch of minds here, like, I tell you that. What is it? Yeah. Gray. Uh, in pop, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a in diet pop. It's the street sweetener they put in that it's been linked to cancer. Yeah, <laughs> and then, oh, geez, I don't know. It's not killing me. Splenda, not um, what is it? Oh my god, there's Saccharin. you know, we don't have people to be able to call in and tell us. There's probably yeah, a thousand people right. out there yeah, screaming at us right As, now. Was it aspartame? Aspartame, there thank you. Go. Oh, okay. Jeez. Man, thank I, you. I knew I'd made it it's somewhere early yeah, this you, morning. You would think it would be four people that are adults and fairly intelligent, and I don't know right. how many degrees we have here amongst us, but good lord. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, hey, we got about another 30 seconds here with you, um, you know, and I know that, uh, you know, people are hearing about this program, but they can join in uh, yes. right now. But uh, I know that you do some work at a different gym. I don't know if you want to promote anything else for yourself, because if you want to, now's the time. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm also a uh, coach at CrossFit Current right behind Los uh uh, Los Ranchos, which was the old Save Lots building, mm-hmm. um, but it's a beautiful facility with AC. Um, I know that's a big seller, and a lot of gyms, you know, I, I might, me myself included, is I take that for granted. A lot of gyms don't have air conditioning, um, especially in the sport of CrossFit. Um, Bunch of wussies. But, You're not supposed to. It's supposed to be like right, 100 right. degrees in there. You're supposed to drop hey, about 30 pounds. Town of luxury, you know, <laughs> we live in a town of luxury. That's right. Um, but, yeah, it's a beautiful space, beautiful coaches and people in there. Um, it's open 24-7 if you uh, become a member. Uh, but it's just it's an awesome way to get out there and work out with people. A sense of uh, yeah. accountability. Um, everyone there is sweating their butts yeah. off, working hard. Um, it's more so the community aspect is what I love about it. Um, and it drives me coming back for more. Perfect. Well, you can uh, catch uh, Bray there, or you can uh, you can call him to tell him how awesome he is at Masters Chiropractic and Rehabilitation. Hey, thank you, sir. Thanks for sticking around for another segment. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. Very good. We'll be back on Rob Bird's Moondog Show in just a second. Hi, Tina Goodrich here with Jake Way Realtors, local to the South Haven community. I've been a full-time realtor for 16 years in Southwest Michigan. Let me put my years of knowledge to work for you. In today's market, you need a savvy realtor. Find me on Facebook or Instagram or call me at 269-759-1076. Remember, when you think real estate, list with Tina. It is true. You can get quality social media marketing, radio time, and video production in one place. Moondog Productions specializes in all three. Now is the time to increase your presence and keep yourself in the public eye. Through Rob Bird's Moondog Show, Moondog Productions offers radio advertising, social media marketing, and video production that will get you noticed. Call Moondog Productions at 269-872-3049 to find out how we can design a program that will fit your budget. If you have branches hanging over your roof or weakened rotting trees near your home, then call UFC Tree Care. 
At UFC Tree Care, we specialize in preventing the devastating damage that can be caused to your home or property because the chances of that happening are greatly increased with winter weather. If you don't already have a tree service, call us for a free quote. Go to ufctreecare.com for contact information. We also offer residential and commercial snow plowing. And most important, don't forget to tell us that Moondog sent you. We're back on Robert's Moondog Show. Let's Talk Real Estate is coming up here next, but uh, we got one more segment where we can just kind of sit around and BS, have no one to call. Uh, I do want to say at the beginning of the show, I did take a moment of silence for uh, the people in Texas at the Uvalde and uh, the, the school shooting massacre. I mean, what what sadness. Um, uh, it, it's, just, it's just awful. What what I did say in that we we're talking to him, if you're not upset about what happened there, then you're you're not alive, American, right. or any of that stuff. Yep. Uh, yep. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to, we've got a lot of things to figure out in this country. And it's, to me, it necessary people to be maybe mad about what I'm going to say. It's not necessary. It's the gun. It's the people holding it. And we have to do a better job of identifying um, people that are troubled. I mean, because whatever happened didn't have didn't start the day before. Right. Right. You know, we we need um, better mental health systems. And, you know, I do agree. I don't believe take everybody's guns away, but we do need more checks and balances there. Yeah, and no doubt about it. Um, but, uh, you know, they talk about more federal gun checks. Well, they have to, everybody has to go through it and whatever. But at 18 years old, if you have a clean record and haven't broken any laws, you most likely can buy a gun. But we're not really here to debate all that. Uh, that's uh, There's a lot of more important people that debate that. And maybe, just maybe someday, they will make some movement. Um, not that I'm for gun control. I think there's some some... Things that can be done that will make it a little harder for some people. Right. But you certainly can't take the guns away from uh, law abiding citizens because you got to think about how many times uh, that actually a citizen stops something from being a lot worse. You know, even the guy in Buffalo, he went and did what he did in New York because he knew their gun laws were so strict that uh, most likely there wouldn't be anybody there to confront him and he would be able to maximize his damage. You know, and that's just the sick mind. But the thing is, if anybody wants to kill a, a mass of people, no matter what it is, you'll find a way. You don't need a gun. I mean, I seem to remember Timothy McVeigh and what he did uh, yep. with a, fer- a fertilizer van. Yep. Yep. You know, um, the people in New York, when they put in the barriers now on, on the sidewalks because he ran up on there with a... I mean, every car is a lethal weapon. Are we going to start doing background checks to buy a car? Right. You don't You don't have to. Um, you know, you have to get a license, obviously, but we can't defend crazy. You can't defend a random act, and that's the... People need to speak up. If you right. see something, you hear something, I mean, you don't want everybody tattling on their neighbors, no. but I mean, if you're really concerned... And you think somebody has mental issues, well, you need yeah. to yeah, talk about it. When you, when you see that. your neighbor's kid outside chopping up the cat, there's probably an issue. Yeah. Right. Probably. Yeah. So whatever, if you see, some, especially something well, like that, say we can't be hyper vigilant and every right. little thing. Oh, that kid just threw a, that kid just littered and he must be a, you're going to go shoot up the right, school. Right. You know, and that's how people do get when they, you know, they hear people talk and some people don't talk very well. And, oh, that person must be bad. I mean, it, I grew up in a house that we had a loaded gun in every corner of the house. There's four kids in that house. Mm-hmm. Not one of we. I mean, it, it's a lot of it's training, too. I mean, we knew you don't touch that. Right. Right. Even though it was right there, it was loaded. We don't touch that. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. No, and, and discipline. You know, but it was also we were taught how to touch it, too. Right. Because, you know, our father, we went through hunter training or hunter safety course. Our father, you know, sat us down. This is what this does. We cleaned it. We learned all the pieces. And well, and I hope they still teach that in schools. I remember my brother going through it. They don't it teach gun I, safety in schools. Yeah, because yeah, no. it was called the hunter's safety, yeah, right? They, right. Yeah. Well, you had to take hunter's safety to be able to get your hunting license. The hunting okay. license. It, it, yeah. wasn't, it was not uh, for every kid to take Yeah, it wasn't take every it. kid. But okay. It, you know, but, yeah, but, I mean, it's still, it's. To be these things, I mean, I think a lot of it, you know, like you said, it's the mental health issues. I mean, my sisters probably say I'm mentally, you know, ill, but or in, <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> whatever. You don't have to say that on my yeah, radio you know, show, though. Whoa. You know, <laughs> well, they would love to say that about me. But either way, it's, it's um, you know, it, it's in the upbringing of these kids. I mean, I see children today, um, little kids, they're corrected. 
they will give you the stare that, like, how dare you? Mm-hmm. And it's like, we never dared do that with oh, our no. folks, you know? No. And I think that, you know, it's it goes back to the, the um, oh, what is that saying? That the, the, Don't let your babies grow up to be sissies? Yeah, that too. Is but that it? Or, no, or, or, I don't maybe think it's that cowboys. Was that. Well, yeah, yeah that's cowboys. cowboys. The, right. um, no, it's the the um, patients are running the asylum. You know. Well, and, yeah, exactly. But the problem here is, is I see a culture and maybe not just a generation of uh, victims of oh, poor me, poor me, poor me. Everything needs to be done for me. And uh, this is not how this country is built. And that's why so many people now hate it, because they want things to be given to them. And this is a country of opportunity that the harder you work, most of the time, the more you get back. Mm-hmm. But you go back to programs about hunter safety and in YDC, mm-hmm. where Brooke, they instill the kids, let's be kids. Let's yeah, play let's outside. Yeah. You know, let's don't play, you know, um, vicious video games right. all the time because life and a game they need to know the difference yeah. you know and, and i'm sure you know some of these violent games there's contributing factors i would never blame a video game for the acts of a person but there's contributing factors uh they spend so much time in their head thinking oh and then they get desensitized to it then kind yeah. of covid comes around and kids get uh isolated and yep. and depressed and they don't know how to deal with it and they lash out and that's been uh, everything that kids have to deal with these days to me is, I think, a lot harder than what we had. But at the same time, every generation has its own cross to bear, you know. Right. right. But no. our, our parents said, hey, get outside, go yep. do something, yep. go run. You know, you were in sports and you, you were tired out. You weren't setting up all night long playing on your phone. Right. So... I think we just need to get back to basics. Back to mm-hmm. basics for sure. And, and and I'll say it, and hopefully if you want to call Paul and tell him how wrong I was to say it, um, I think that we have a big fatherless problem in this country. And I think uh, fathers who discipline and fathers that have an active role in their children are lacking. Yes, yes, because like everything, there has to be that, that fine line is you can't over- you know, punish your kids and, and make them hate you. Mm-hmm. And, but there has to be respect. There has to be exactly. balance well, right. and the big checks. word is respect. Yeah. yeah, checks and balances. You don't beat your kid, but it's okay to grab their attention every now and again. Um, you know, a parent, uh, we've our parents these days, <laughs> these days, it's not, and it's not everybody, of course. No. They want to be friends with their kids. And that's okay. You can have a friend relationship, but there's times when your mama and dad, you are the enforcer. You are the one has to has to put the fear of God in them and say, if you do this again, you will never be talking to that friend. Right. You will never see that phone. You know what? You might not even walk again because my foot's <laughs> going to be so far up your butt. Right. We, have, we have stories about Harmony. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but when, <laughs> when she, she did some things very young and then grew Naughty out girl. of it because... You know, I was there. I was present. You know, ask the swim team about me throwing her phone in the pool in the deep end. You know, I said, oh, you have another phone here. You go bloop. And and I leave. And as I'm walking away, I'm like, Sonny, would you get that to your mom so she can dispose of it for me? And they're like, yes, Miss Russin. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, no, you, you've got to stay on top of things. Well, the, the problem with the being friends is they think they're equals. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not. And, and, and in no way is that true. We could talk about this, I think, all day, but oh, yeah. uh, we're, we're done with this segment. This is it. And it's Let's Talk Real Estate time. I see Tina is here and ready to go. So Yay. we do have to move on. And when we come back, it will be Let's Talk Real Estate time with Tina Goodrich on Rob Bird's Moondog Show. Hey there, it's Scott from Country House Furniture here. We are having a banner year and our store has been restocked and everything is on sale and specially marked for you, our great customers. Sofas, love seats, recliners, washers, dryers, ranges, refrigerators, mattress sets by Tempur-Pedic, Therapeutic, and Sealy, all at unbelievable savings. Stop by a Country House Furniture today at 08337 M140 Highway, right next to the new Senior Center in South Haven. And as always, we finance. Hope to see you soon. Hi, Nicole Galata here with Galata Imagery, your South Haven local photographer. Specializing in family and wedding photography, I also photograph engagement, maternity, seniors, and so much more. Find me on Facebook and Instagram or on my website at galataimagery.com. 
Hi, Tina Goodrich here with Jakeway Realtors, local to the South Haven community. I've been a full-time realtor for 16 years in Southwest Michigan. Let me put my years of knowledge to work for you. In today's market, you need a savvy realtor. Find me on Facebook or Instagram or call me at 269-759-1076. Remember, when you think real estate, list with Tina. We're back on Robert's Moondog Show. It is time now for Let's Talk Real Estate with Tina Goodrich. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Rob, and how are you? I'm doing well. And of course, Laura Russell is still here in the uh, studio. And our special guest for today, who's never been to the studio or on this radio show or anywhere near it, is the man. <laughs> we call him Goody Goody Gumdrops. <laughs> That's what I'm going to name this episode, by the way. Right. <laughs> we got Mr. He loves to yes, go by Goody. By yeah. Goody's uh, Home Repair, and uh, it's good to have you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, absolutely. All right, so our subject today is going to be short-term rentals. Of course, uh, that's always a hot topic in South Haven. Oh, it's I don't know how the right now. if uh, there's been a Michigan decision law not or not yet. But uh, all right, so table. yeah. So what do you want to talk about with short-term rentals? Well, I thought it would be a good topic since we have Goody's Home Repair on tonight. He does work with a lot of short-term rentals, mm-hmm. and plus, short-term rentals is a hot topic in South Haven right now. So I thought you know that's a good time to talk about short-term rentals. Yeah. You know, we've got all of our uh, tourists that are coming in to South Haven. This is the kickoff to the season. So I, I'd imagine tomorrow it, we're You know, gonna... in South Haven, it's about a hot topic as racism is with our country, isn't it? I mean, short-term rentals, I mean, it's kind of really, it's almost, it's a very divisive subject in South it Haven. It is. It, and actually, I think there's more that are pro for short-term rentals than there's not. We do have a, a handful that are have been in South Haven for many generations, and it's always, you know, been in the past maybe a little bit more homey uh, as far as home full-time residents. And now we have seen such an increase on our short-term rentals because uh, South Haven is so beautiful Mm -hmm. and everybody wants to get in on it. Right. You know, we're being discovered every year by a different country. And I've seen more different, you know, ethnic groups from out of our uh, good old country here, you know, that are traveling, you know, coming to South Haven. They're flying them in by the plane load. I mean, they're like, <laughs> we're like two and a half hours from Chicago. <laughs> Right, <laughs> <laughs> you know, two and a half and hours. I, I from, didn't even from, mean that. I, I sorry just, about that. I'm going to have to go back and preface that so well, someone think I'm so insensitive, <laughs> even though well, I am it is a an, little bit. It is an insensitive topic. I, well, it's funny that uh, I mean, you say that it's but not funny, do. but I, I did a documentary on Holland, and that was one thing I always talked about. Oh, that was a great there, one. There, there were lots and lots. I mean, people from all over the country, yeah, all, all over the over world, world fly in, and that is what I meant by that. Yes, um, yes. and they do for the tulip. I mean, you know. The Tulip Festival is big for Michigan, and just the Michiganders alone, you know, flock to yeah. Holland for the Tulip Festival. Uh, I mean, I try to get there at least during the Tulip Festival to see some of the flowers. Yeah. Now, I haven't gotten there yet. Laura, well, you know, a little late. Well, you know, yeah. the, you know they're serious when you can go to jail for cutting down a tulip. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. They don't mess Fine. around. No, they yeah. don't. They don't mess yeah. around. Well, you brought so, Goody in but here. But I brought Goody in. Yes. Um, I was so happy to to hear that Mark was going to come in today and talk to us about some of the work that Goody does. He does home repairs, um, and he likes to stay in our South Haven area. So sure. I thought, you know, we'd ask Goody, uh, uh, um, what does he do out there on them yeah. home repairs, yeah. some of the repairs you do do? And how do you like your new sign? Oh, I love my new sign. It yeah. was uh, supposed to be a surprise, and I rolled up into the parking lot one day, and here's this man lift truck and a couple workers putting the sign up. And I, uh, I asked them. I said, "Well, I guess the surprise is over." <laughs> they, was yeah. that was that a surprise for Miss Tina? Yes, it was. Okay. Yes, it was. Yeah, I, there was several times I could have got these guys in there, in and out before Goody even noticed. And I thought, well, we'll see if he even notices the sign. <laughs> that but of funny. course, wouldn't notice uh, it for a week. He, uh, <laughs> of course, the guys were there when uh, Goody went there for some um, material, and I thought, oh, he could, he's going to run into these guys. Oh, that's all right. The cat's out of the bag. Do you think so, the new sign added to your business? Well, there's a lot of clients that I work for that have noticed the sign, and uh, they all like it. So mm-hmm. that's a that's a plus, and I'm 
I'm sure there's some business that's rolled in because of the sign, yeah? Oh, he oh. just told me today over dinner, uh, he gets at least five or six calls a day from new clients. Yeah. Oh. Every day. Yeah. Every day. At the end of the night, he has five or six phone calls that he's okay. got to answer back. And so that keeps him, he's like a good two or three weeks out, right. but scheduled and work. Well, I need you. So I need a new back door. Guys need I need a new back storm door put in. Need a right. good, time to replace uh, that nasty home thing. Home repair guy. Mark, mm -hmm. Mark wears many hats when it comes to repairing the home. Okay. So I thought he would be great to have on the show. What night do you think your most popular today? call is? What uh, do they need? Uh, a lot of ceiling fan light units. Replacing mm -hmm. them. Yep. So yep. Electrical work. Yeah, electrical work. I had you do that at my mother's home. Right. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite thing to do? Uh, I like to stay with the electric, uh, but I, I do plumbing and, and small carpentry. He does a lot of toilet jobs. Mm -hmm. A lot of toilet, toilet jobs. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Poo jobs, collecting you know, poo. That's oh, what, no, that was not again. Stop, he's, please. You know, there's this, that's one job that the homeowners generally don't like to mess with. And it's like, hey, Goody, can you do this in the bathroom, you know, the toilet or unplug it? Anything to do with the yeah. bathroom is a yeah. big call. you got to love wax rings. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, and you don't want to call a plumber because they're also so busy right. and they're all costly. Booked. They're well, booked. So, they probably, I think they charge more too, don't they? Yeah. That, that's the thing about what I call in and outs. Uh, the, big, the big companies don't want to mess with the small jobs, and I love the small yeah. jobs. What if I wanted an inline water heater? Is that something you can do? Uh, I do not mess with inline water heaters. Okay, so... There are some things. Right, there are <laughs> some things all right, that good there's a lot to do. Yeah, there's a lot to those. Yeah, is there? Yeah. Okay. What are, what are some of the jobs you uh, do, honey? Uh, well, it's easier to say what I Not don't do. do. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't do water heaters. Well, and the things he doesn't do, Goody has a great yes. portfolio on the guys who can do it. Yeah. So if he can't do it, he's going to recommend somebody in his portfolio to do it. Someone's got a problem, a uh, bad spot on a roof or I, a garage. I don't, I don't do roofs. <laughs> don't do roofs? Okay. I don't do roofs. Lake Shore. Right. We got right. roofs, we roofs got windows, so we have a, So we have an elitist uh, fix-it guy here who <laughs> right. <laughs> well, is good and what he does right uh mark is uh honest and dependable in your home or your business so if you need somebody and you need to depend on him to come get the job done yeah. then you're gonna call good yeah. yeah if the house is broke i can fix it and he's an ex-military man too we know that we can we trust that that, that that's always you know when you oh, say something like that's thing. a that's an extra degree of when people say hey oh, the guy was in the military we know that they're uh they have uh you know some style that they have a uh a sense of promptness uh you know th oh, those are all yeah, good things that the military dependable. brings that's yeah. what i went with right from the beginning because mark is very dependable and he's very honest our new gutter man that we just met yes modern gutters and he does a great job. He I, does. I had his flyer out in the front yard, but I think the bat, last couple of rainstorms took it. And he is also ex-military. No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, we do need to take a break here, uh, and I don't think we really we talked, I guess, for a minute for about short-term rentals, but we need to talk a little bit more yep. about them when we come back on Robert's Moon Dog Show. Let's talk real estate with Tina Goodrich. If you have branches hanging over your roof or weakened rotting trees near your home, then call UFC Tree Care. At UFC Tree Care, we specialize in preventing the devastating damage that can be caused to your home or property because the chances of that happening are greatly increased with winter weather. If you don't already have a tree service, call us for a free quote. Go to ufctreecare.com for contact information. We also offer residential and commercial snow plowing. And most important, don't forget to tell us that Moondog sent you. It is true. You can get quality social media marketing, radio time, and video production in one place. Moondog Productions specializes in all three. Now is the time to increase your presence and keep yourself in the public eye. Through Rob Bird's Moondog Show, Moondog Productions offers radio advertising, social media marketing, and video production that will get you noticed. Call Moondog Productions at 269-872-3049 to find out how we can design a program that will fit your budget. Let's talk real estate with Tina Goodrich. 
We're back on Robert's Moondog Show. Let's talk real estate with Tina Goodrich. We have Tina Goodrich, of course, Mark Goody here in the uh, studio, of course, with uh, our also good friend, Laura Russell, and it's so good to have bestie ladies here together yeah, in the studio. Yeah, we love yes, doing the show so together. Wonderful. We do. Yes, it's we great. Do. You love having us too, Rob, don't you? Of course you? I do. Of course <laughs> I do. <laughs> and of course, we got Goody. I'm so excited yeah, that I got Goody's good home repair on the show. I think that's pretty awesome that you guys have been married so long and you're still excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We still get excited. Does she, does she, does she uh, cook well? Does she treat you well and oh, yes. cook good dinners? Oh, yeah. Tina's a very good I heard good she's cook. a fantastic cook. She well, is she's, a fantastic She's brought some stuff yeah. to me, and it's been very good. Except, well, for, his, except for those sloppy I Joes. I have to say, his mother taught me a lot. Yeah. She was a Southern cook, and yeah. I was going to wait for you. You didn't catch that. I, said I sloppy did. Joe. I, I did. <laughs> oh, I missed it. You yeah. Did? Well, let's be fair. I did come over when you had your garage sale, and I ate Sloppy Joe's with you. Yes. I did. Yes, you and did. And they were good. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Rob I got did. a Sloppy Joe. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the best so, garage sale in the whole wide South Haven. Well, that was our first one, so next year will be even You're gonna have another one? that much more fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm on board for clearing out stuff. Yeah. It already feels so good to, you know, be able to get... We got rid of so much stuff in the end. It was just crazy. I thought, where did this stuff come from? Yeah. It well, came <laughs> from when you did short-term rentals. Yes. Yeah. And you didn't need all and that stuff. Yeah, so the Asylum Inn was a short-term rental for almost 15 years yeah. we did it. And um, Mark and I decided one day that we were going to regroup with all of the properties we owned and we made the asylum our home for a temporary and uh, we've been there for four years yeah. um, but goody redid the whole asylum yeah. and uh, he's actually done two great renovations in our lifetime together which was the asylum in was first um, we owned cheyenne's closet java joe's and then we shortly after that invested into this apartment building which we named the asylum in well mark and his uncle Uncle Rod, uh, it, they redid that whole building. It took us two years, but between us and our kids and Mark's Goodies Home Repair, we did another one after that. I guess we didn't learn our lesson, but we did a Victorian <laughs> home in Waterville, and it was a three-story Victorian home, and Mark did that one practically, you know, a lot more by himself than uh, the asylum. Mark, did it need quite as much work as the asylum did? Yes, we uh, we tore it right down to the, the uh, studs. All the lath and plaster came out, heat and air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, everything was tore out and all brand new stuff was put back in. That one had three floors, just like the asylum did. But after thinking about it, you know, at the asylum, we had three suites. So each floor had its own kitchen and its own bathrooms. And at the Victorian home, of course, that was just, you know, one large home with the third floor just being a a bunk area for the kids and a hangout where the third floor at the end was a complete suite with a kitchen. So yeah, I would say the, the asylum was probably a little bit more work. We had uh, Uncle Rod there helping us, but um, that was the kickoff for Goody's Home Repair of uh, doing home repairs with those two homes. Uh, and then after Mark retired from Lovejoy here in South Haven, uh, that's what he went into as his, you know, soft retirement uh, is doing good, Goody's Home Repair. And he, he does stick in the South Haven area because he is very busy with just South Haven. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Why why leave town if you don't have to? Well, tell people what Mark's first retirement was. Well, I'm going to let Goody answer that. Uh, So what is your first retirement? First retirement was the U.S. Navy. I was an aircraft electrician and ended uh, my career with uh, being an instructor on staff duty. Okay. And you did some, I got some of your electrical background there too also, didn't you? Yes. So that's great. So that's where Goody's uh, comes in with the electrical hat. Um, of course, you know, he doesn't pull permits because uh, you need a licensed electrician for that. But Mark does a lot of rework and things that need to be updated, and um, he's allowed to do that kind of work. Yeah, changing receptacles or uh, light switches, uh, sealant fan, light units, that kind of stuff. Right, and those are big for the short-term rentals in our area because we were talking about short-term rentals. Uh, who are some of the leading companies you work for in town uh, that pertain to the short-term rentals? Uh, S- Sally Newton has her own little business. Oh, we love Sally. Yeah, she's, she's a great, great. woman. Uh, yep. She's got her uh, fleet of short-term rentals, and then I uh, <coughs> freelance with Jakeway. Uh, they have many. How'd you get that? 
uh, through my wife. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Do, you, do you know somebody <laughs> that worked the real, there? Realtor in town. I just happened to be right. married to her. <laughs> and Sally, she was uh, she was with Shores. Yeah. For she years, Shores, she worked for Jada Bryan for years. That's how I met Sally. And that's nice. how you met Sally. So yeah, yeah Mark works with uh, both of the leading uh, companies in town. We have a, a, a handful of short-term rental people that handle those. Um, but Jakeway and Shores, I believe, are the two leading companies in South Haven. If you're thinking about getting in to short-term rentals. Uh, they're both comparable. I want to say they're at a 25% management fee if you were thinking about getting into that short-term rentals. Uh, South Haven is right now fired up with the short-term rentals. We all know that. Um, but we are gearing up for the season and for the positive part of short-term rentals for South Haven, which is nonstop, and it's coming this week. And I imagine tomorrow we're going to have a load of people coming into town to enjoy um, beautiful South Haven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know there's going to be a load of people. Well, for sure. and... Yes. The weather's supposed to improve. And since the weather's going to be so great, I've got two open houses this weekend I want to share with you with. Um, I got the 334 Van Buren, which did give me a price reduction from 679 to 649 mm-hmm. uh, So that one's coming up Saturday from 12 to 2. I'll be your hostess. And then I have a, a, a second open house at my new listing at 16402 County Road 687. And that's just a short jog from Jericho. Uh, it's in between Jericho and Kibbe Corner. So that's Geneva Township. Um, and I'm having an open house there on Sunday from 12 to 2. So both open houses is this weekend. And there's a ton of them. Oh, so if you're thinking I, about going make, out. I'm still trying to make the Jericho to Kibbe Corner. Is there, there's not a road that goes from no. one to there. No, you have to take County Road 380. Um, down from Jericho I'm glad to you know road names. County Road 687, which is um, most of us locals know it as 66th Street. Okay. But uh, you take six, uh, 66, and then it's in between there and Kibby. Because Kibby's right. at Phoenix right. and 66. Yes. So, you know, we're at County Road 380 and 66, and it's right in between, I would say. Yeah, get your maps out, ladies and gentlemen, and you can figure out where that one is. Well, yeah, it's hard to figure out when you don't have like a connecting road. You right. know, in yeah, your mind. As, well, and as a realtor, you need to know those streets. So when yeah. somebody asks you where this house is, you're able to describe where it's at and something about the area. Yeah. Not the third one around the corner from the Big Rock. We need to take a break. Save that question. Uh, we'll be back on Robert's Moondog Show. Let's talk real estate with Tina Goodrich. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. Are you planning a painting project and don't know who to call? Decorator's Choice Painting Company is one of the most highly referred services along the lakeshore. Serving this area for over 20 years, we look forward to providing professional services for you. Call us today at 269-270-5785 or email us at decoratorschoicesh at gmail.com. Take a look at our work at decoratorschoicesh.com. So meticulous, it's ridiculous. Hi, I'm Holly Lawson from Drawing Children Into Reading, also known as DCIR. We're an early childhood fine motor building resource that will enhance your child's visual ability to express and communicate in pictures and words. In the classroom, we start with proper pencil grip, develop a longer attention span, and kickstart a whole new world when your child learns to draw, write, and read in that order. To unleash the happiness and find out more about this groundbreaking program, visit DCIR.org. We're back on Robert's Moondog Show. Let's talk real estate with Tina Goodrich. Time. Tina Goodrich. Mark Goody. Rich. Good. <laughs> Who do I just, just call him Goody? I just call him Mark Goody. Goody. Yeah, Mark Goody. Goody. Mark Goodrich, Goody for short, and uh, Laura Russell, of course. So, well, it's been certainly a uh, fun show so far, and we're kind of heading off. But I think you wanted to. You're talking about a couple more listings, right? Well, I just wanted to bring out those open houses. Um, those two are this Saturday and Sunday over the holiday. And if you are uh, wanting to get out and look at some houses, there are a ton of open houses. So just jump on that swimrack.com, and then you are able able to um, find out where the open houses are at. Um, but I wanted to also mention to Goody to send uh, tell us of how to get a hold of you. What's your contact oh, yeah. information for everybody? Uh, you can reach me on my phone, cell phone, 269-999-0051. 
And he's Texas, too, so if you want yeah. to shoot him a text mm-hmm. for a quick answer back. Uh, Goody is booked out a good couple weeks, um, but he has reserved that 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. for anybody that has a quick job and wants to squeeze in. There is a couple hours in the early morning. Yeah, maybe you might some be able to get emergency in. services type yeah. of thing. Yeah, and then, of course, Goody does do some emergency services after um, he stays on the clock. You know, he gets home about five ish. But M- Mark will answer his phone call after five uh, if somebody's looking for something sure. in an emergency note. He does do emergency calls as he should for yes. sure. Yep. And and so you you've it's kind of I mean after kind of retiring a first retirement then a second retirement and this third is, and this is the third retirement. <laughs> just, is this just something? That, I mean, it's just kind of keep you busy and make a little money in the it, in the process it, it is very entertaining for me uh, i like doing home repair and it it uh you know keeps me out of trouble keeps him uh, busy well, what kind keeps of trouble would you now I'm, now I'm interested what kind of trouble would you yeah. be getting into if you I weren't don't, i don't know uh, he's not really I mean, a keep, troublemaker no, i'm very not. curious you know, keep keeps my mind active uh keeps me active yeah uh you know I, that i get it's a, a a very very enjoyable job to meet a bunch of people that you never knew before, mm-hmm. and probably I'm sure you work for a lot of people that you've known for quite a long time. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's the beauty of uh, of little old South Haven is we can get a uh, the home feel for sure. You know a lot of people, and it's just big enough where you can say, "Man, I can't believe I've never met you before." Well, all three of us here, well, and you too, but we were real close in the same class. So Mark and I graduated no, in 81. Not, not me. You can leave me out of that. Right. We life. graduated in 81. Laura graduated in 80. And Rob was 89. 89. Yep. I think that was the year my daughter graduated. <laughs> No, it's no, not. I don't I'm think kidding. your daughter is not going to. Yeah, she's not going to want to hear that yeah. for sure. Yeah, <laughs> no, I can't believe I'm you kidding. did that to yourself. No way. No, I was she's just probably kidding. 98. I was just saying Rob wasn't in our age group, no, basically. Little, but yeah. Mark and I, we were high school sweethearts. And after graduation, Mark went in the Navy. And after the Navy, he came home and worked at Lovejoy for a good 15 years. Yeah, I would say for 15. And uh, and then now he's doing Goody's Home Repair, and this is much more leisure for him to do the Goody's Home Repair. No stress. Although it's still a lot of work. The factory yeah. and, of course, the 18 years of, yeah. of the Navy. And that was before Mark and I were married. So Mark did 18 years in the Navy after he got done with the Navy. Then we, because we were high school sweethearts. Right. So we got back together after his service career, and um, he came back home because this is home for Goody. Yeah. And, my so. my high school sweetheart state took off running. They, they took off never running. Never coming back. <laughs> Laura married her high school sweetheart. I, did. I don't know how so. that could possibly happen. It, yeah. I mean, to me, it seems like uh, you missed out on a whole lot of that trying different things stuff. Well, Mark was married. <laughs> yeah. We were well, both married well, before. Married don't count. You know. I'm talking about really trying different things. Well, oh. Oh, yeah, right. we were happy not to have to try all that weird stuff. You know, we're pretty happy. It's not weird. It's well, very natural it and beautiful in some ways. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. <laughs> Back to the high school sweethearts. Well, sorry. Uh, Going down no. that rocky road. I, yeah. Yeah. This is my favorite Bob place to that. be. That's he where I want to go. Us. Goes down that rabbit That's hole. Why and have Laura to, and I, we have to pull them. That's back. why I keep them around. We pull them back. <laughs> Right. We're like that. Without know, them, I probably still wouldn't have a show. His, right. On his shoulder. Mm. Right. Don't stop that. Right. Don't talk like that. <laughs> all right. Doesn't no, always I, I don't know where Watch. to go from after all that. Go ahead, Tina. Well, you know, we were talking about real estate and that short-term rental again. Uh, it is a hot topic in South Haven. We do got a yeah. handful of people that, you know, just, you know, it just leaves a bad taste in their mouth um, with the short-term rentals. You know, some people don't like that short-term rental turnover where people are coming and going all the time where they have may have lived for 30, 40 years, maybe 50 years. Right. And I understand that that is a little tough. Sure. And so you want some sort of control. And, and I believe that the city of South Haven is working on that. We do have some uh, some rules to abide by. And you do have to get a permit to get a short-term rental. You just can't do a short-term rental. You know, you have to go through steps. You have to pay for the permit. I think the permit now might be $200, but it's been a few years. Is it more? Right, what is it, there. Goody? Well, 600 
Six hundred. I'm I'm not sure the exact number, but it's way more than two hundred. Yeah, I think it's six hundred yeah. now. It's been a few years since we've done uh, the short term rentals <clears throat> again. We've been out of it out of the game for four years now, and um, you know the asylum can sleep eighteen people. Yeah. So, uh, so are you going to two? You guys going to hit the camper this year and uh, rent out the asylum for the summer? No, we're done with renting out the asylum totally. When um, we're we do the camper thing in the off season, which yeah. would be like we're deciding January. January. February, February. Sure. Okay. getting out of Michigan. Yeah. Well, you've got about 30 seconds to kick out some uh, contact info here. Make okay. sure you get Goody's confi- yeah, so contact. Yeah, so I wanted too. to definitely put out for Goody. Uh, contact is 269-999-0051. You can find him on Facebook, a Goody's Home Repair. He, we post a lot of pictures of the work that Mark does. So if you got some general idea of, you know, I want this done or I want that done, you can go to his Facebook page and right. see a lot of the work he does do. Um, and, of course, he is at GoodyMark62 at gmail.com. And then for me, you guys know that my uh, I text or you can give me a call, 269-759-1076. You can all, always Google me, Liz mm-hmm. Tina. Let's Talk Real Estate. You can find me on Facebook and all those good places. Okay. We could make the Google you joke with your husband here. Okay. Too bad Mason wasn't here for that one. It's always a good talk. He loves to call he Google. Like, Mark likes to Google you, too? I love it. All right, perfect. No, you know, you right. know I bet you Mark's never even Googled himself. Have you ever Googled no. Goody's Home Repair? No. See, Dan Jakeway says, always take time to Google yourself. You might be surprised. Yeah. On I don't know if you can trust a man that's never Googled himself. All right, well, <laughs> well, well all that being said, uh, that help me out here. <laughs> there we go. Woo. All right, Mason Dixon normally takes care of this part, and he t- uh, says thank you to all of our uh, sponsors. sponsors, which Tina Goodrich is a sponsor, of course. Uh, True Blue Farms with the uh, Blueberry Chicks. Who else is a sponsor? Uh, Tom Max, Balky, Max, Max Masters, Master, yeah. 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 Nicole Gulata, uh, Jackie Diaz cuts my hair. Who else we got on board? Uh, drawing children into reading. UFC cutting. UFC, UFC tree, tree care. care. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We have to have to call him. Me and Laura both called him recently. Yes, there you go. Yes, so yeah. I have a tree yeah. coming down yeah. this coming Tuesday. And if you talk to any of them, tell them Moon Dog sent you. But with all that, uh, Mason uh, is not here to howl but we're going to maybe mark will participate maybe he won't but here we go ready here we go see you out there on the out and then well oh, geez i don't even know what the hell to say I, I, this is mason's time i don't know what to do all right <laughs> let's well, just howl that's all. we'll see you next week howl. all right go ahead one two, two three, three. Oh. <laughs> that was awful <laughs> Rob Bird's Moondog Show, subsidiary of Moondog Productions, can be found at moondogshow.com. Copyright 2022.